Damn, Gary, some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. Welcome, travelers, to the fringes of reality, where the strange and mysterious meet, and the thin veil between fact and fiction is torn. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier. We're back. We're back. We're oh, back, travelers. Welcome back. It is good. Thank you. You're so kind. Beautiful. With a very well timed and abrupt ending applause that the chat always has, it's it's they're really good at everything, aren't they? It's they true. want to get back to the they're show. They're amazing. They're amazing. I agree. They are amazing. They're professionals. Uh, uh, hey, it's the Forbidden Frontier. It's been a Should couple we weeks. Uh, I am not traveling. The next, well, the next vacation, the next trip, <gasps> is a Forbidden Frontier trip. Oh. If it happens, I, I think it's happening. So uh, wait, okay. wait, okay. yeah. Because... Don't tease me. No, no, I don't. Don't tease us. Yeah, that's. I'll just say. Is it? I'll know by the end of the year, but it's like uh, financially, oh. it's looking okay uh, oh, because shit. of a certain what? thing. So that's been. <laughs> it's it's really expensive. Okay, it is. <laughs> it's it is. Just it, saying, yeah, it's really expensive. But uh, we're 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 gonna we're gonna try to work it out because I that's bucket list stuff. And that's worth. I have to sell a comic book. I can sell a comic book because I could sell uh, one comic book and I would pay for the trip. <laughs> the, yeah, the right one. For everybody for everybody. So wow. uh, if I sell the right one, um, okay, we'll nice. see. We'll see. Yeah, it's Egypt. Egypt. Uh, Uncharted. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Uncharted X is going worth there. It. That's right. Ben, our boy Ben, who's been killing oh, yeah. it. Absolutely yeah, dude, killing it. His videos are great. The Snake Bros. Their stuff has been great. Uh, Randall, Wait, they're not going to be there, are they? Yeah. Oh no, you're just you're just giving them. No, shit. they're going to be there, unless Wait, they're, they're awesome. gonna, unless they're, they're touring awesome. at the same time separately, which but they will I be guess in could Egypt. happen. But I'm pretty sure they're they're going on the same tour. Oh, God. I could be wrong. Be, no. This is going to be so. Don't good. quote me on that. You're they teasing me, Gary. Drone. You need to stop it. My drone. I could I could be dead wrong about that. I'm just you know I got a drug addled brain, so you know. Take it with a grain of salt. All right. Uh, so uh, we have an exciting subject today. We also have some stuff to kind of recap. Yeah. But I've been I've been really behind because we've been traveling so much. Uh, Ryan Kittle is a lizard man. Chat, you're absolutely right. I'm uh, not going to deny. We're going to talk about lizard people tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I'll we'll talk a little bit they about lizard up. people. Uh, David Grush has been in the news. I think we'll save that for next week. But he's been in the news a lot yeah. uh, because he was on Joe yeah. Rogan got the conversation going there's been more people backing him up now so it's looking like at least some of the stuff he saw might be legit uh and uh yeah but there's also you know ancient civilizations there's a lot of news out there and we uh, have a fun topic today which is was there egyptians in the grand canyon and is the smithsonian covering shit up uh i can answer the last one Yes, yes. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Yes. yes, absolutely. Yes. But uh, first, it's a federal get... organization. Just remember that. Yeah. And the answer is right. yes. Yes, of course. Uh, of course yeah. What's up, Quarter Black? 
What's up, dude? I am I'm ready to go into uh, we we're going to talk about the the hieroglyphs and the story of the of the cave in in Grand Canyon. And I think we at some point we got we got to talk about the Lovelock cave because it kind of overlaps. I feel like we, we need a to little talk bit. about it because mm -hmm. Garrett and I were, were chatting before you both yeah. got on and they really link up a lot. A little bit. There's a little there's, bit of connection. There's a lot there. of similarities when you when you start when you hear both stories and then you sit back and kind of look at them both. You're like, yeah. there's a lot of connections here. What's going on with that? So I, I feel like we, we we have to talk about both. Yep. You know, so, Lovelock. I'm, I'm really we don't interested have to go in that. that much in, into details. Yeah. Because you know it's pretty easy to tell the story. I mean, we we've told the story before, but nice. It, it links up perfectly. It's all over there nice. though. Zorbru no, no, just no. put you on his list, Roger. I'm just saying. I, stop yeah, looking for at Court of Black like that. Thanks for sharing, calm, Zorbu. Calm Cut it out. Yeah, I'm ready to go. It's been too long. Yeah. You're my quarter black magic. That's what you are. I got that magic, man. That's right. That's right. Uh, Adam Krigler, it's been weeks since we've spoken. Yes. I'm happy to be talking to you again, buddy. I I am really happy to be here. I I love these subjects. Like every every time I just geek out on something and it's always something I'm interested in. And this is one of those things. I've been to the Grand Canyon many times in my life from a young child uh, before there was railings, you know, and I, I remember being a little like I think I was eight years old and I walked up to the edge with a thousand foot drop, you know, one what? more step. I would have died, you know, but it was like back in the day when like there was no guardrails. Like I remember looking down and being freaked out. And I think I freaked my my family out, too, because I just like walk. I was like, I want to go look over the edge. You know, it was one of those like precarious cliffs yeah. too. That there was nothing underneath it either. Like I, you know, like the potato chip in, I don't know, Colorado or something. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe is it California? I don't remember the potato, potato chip. chip. Yeah, the the rock like climbing the thin rock. It's like yeah, the, but there's like a famous one. They call oh, it like a, I see. Okay. I, yeah, I that know. looks anyway. All I know is I'm hungry, and you said potato chips. Sorry, yeah. my bad. I'll show you. I'll show you the potato chip. I it's do want to give a shout out to Hotep Jesus. Actually, random. Uh, I didn't know about this, oh, look at that. and he mentioned the Egyptian hieroglyphs in the Grand Canyon. That's right. On a, I, I don't remember what he what show he was on. It was either like Fox News or something. He and mentioned it like, on JRE. Is that what it was? Yeah. Actually, you know what? That's what it was. It was on Joe Rogan. Exactly. Yes. And I was like, I just my radar like went wild and i'm like i need to know more about that and i just started researching it and i was like this is freaking rad and i always wanted to talk about it on the show and i'm glad we're we're finally uh talking about it hell yeah uh and hail hotep jesus yeah, yeah he's great based yeah he's awesome hello excellent goo congratulations on 20 thousand subscribers um are you still hung over uh my body is very tired um <laughs> let's just say i was trying to stop the stream at three hours and then i went to five and a bit so i'm going to blame um disparu for that one <laughs> did you watch it at all i caught a little bit of it when i got back from the concert and then i went to sleep let's just say disparu is very loud when he's very drunk <laughs> fucking wild man <laughs> the wild man you should see all these like uh you know especially the brits uh when they want to sound dumber which they usually don't they just get drunk well he was drinking a whiskey that was called progressive whiskey so did it no. turn did did he do kind of like a ryan color? and do it do a gay drunk no, no. he okay. he wasn't nice he was very um like I feel like he felt like an SJW, like awakened in him. Oh, no. and then he... <laughs> this brew is yeah. a crazy lesbian. Yes, he is. And we love him for it. <laughs> Makes sense. He'll be on Friday Night Tides. Uh, yeah, that was really fun. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun. Uh, yeah. You know, the Grand Canyon, you know who I should have had on is my mom. I should have right. had my birth yeah. mom on because she worked there for a gazillion right. years. Yeah, she was a ranger and a fire watch there. She knows all the dark secrets. She's the one who turned it told me about Chaco Canyon and all the crazy. She lives in New Mexico now. She had my oh, mom man. on. 
thing I'll, she would have been great. Yeah. yeah. I think we'll, when we revisit the subject, I'll see if mom wants to come on. So yeah. uh, I want to know the secrets. I want to. Yeah. He's going to. Well, if we go, when we go up to Chaco Canyon, she'll go with us. So yeah. she's going to go nice. with us. Um, cool. So, yeah, this is going to be a fun subject. Let's get into it. Welcome, chat. We're glad you're here. Welcome, welcome. Oh, and welcome. Alex Jones is back on Twitter. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. That's right. I will. I will eat your ass. Hell yeah. That's right. We got to get him back on FNT now. Yeah. Yeah. It's like way safer now. <laughs> so true. Uh, yes, Alex Jones, who I first heard on Coast to Coast AM. That's how I discovered Alex Jones. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Used to, yeah, he used to always go to the Bilderberg summits and stuff and call from the hotel room. And uh, there's a famous one. I'm thinking it was Art or George. I can't remember which one it was where he's where he's calling from the hotel room and then the alarm comes off and they like security comes and rounds him up out of his hotel room while he's on the phone. He's like, this is I happening now. The Bilderberg is coming to get me. How do they know <laughs> he was on the phone? I don't know. They're tracking his phone calls. But they were, they they did, and you know, probably it sounded were funny. Tracking his phone calls. It sounded funny and whimsical, and sure, I can believe that in an X Files kind of way. You know, twenty five years ago, now it's I could totally believe him that they were he was being tracked and the security was tapping his phone and ran him out of there. Yes, I think yeah, that's one hundred percent what happened. I believe it, one hundred percent. Yep. What's this Nazi? All right, can, what you, is these? You, let me, uh, you, you mind? Oh, you want to you set lead, it up? Set it up. The, then can I lead the charge here? Let's go. That's you. All it's right, all you, well, baby. This, this all started with the GE Kincaid, and I only found one picture, supposedly, because so he was a Nazi. doesn't exist. All right, according to <laughs> an officer's many, uniform. many <laughs> sources. Or a mailman. This man does not exist. This is from an IMDB post. Or a milkman. Yeah, something. You type this guy's name, and... And click images. This is the only thing that pops up, and that's it. And it's like I, I don't know if this guy really existed or not. I think he did. All right. What search engine uh, did you use? Or I I used um, Curiosity. Brave. The well, Brave. it could be a pseudo name too. It could. Uh, sure. Yeah, that's true. All right, but because this all spawned from an article in 1909 from the Phoenix Gazette, and I actually have it. Um. So I and I want to I want to go through it because it's pretty cool. Uh, but before we do, I just want to like give a shout out also to the Y files because they have an incredible breakdown. Um, yeah. That I'm gonna basically summarize right now, uh, and I I just I I got all this information from AJ and the Y files. They're fantastic. It, Great team. Go watch the video. In fact, watch all of their videos, dude. I've done it. Our, the files, our drive home. Our drive home from yeah from L. A. Was all Y files. <laughs> It's amazing. The whole, yes. way back. the whole way. I've watched yeah. every single Y files that he's put out. I need you to make yes. more. AJ, yeah, go make some more hecklefish. Make more. How, what do you mean? He keeps he pumps them out like nonstop. <laughs> I need you like, to make like six a week. All right. I can't, you can't I don't sleep. Know how, yeah, they I pump out as many videos stuff. as they do. It's yeah. amazing. They, Dude, they do uh, such yeah, a good I, such a good job. He must a very good team. He has a, yes. like a very Fantastic. good team because knowing what I know about content creation and script writing and editing yep. and take some time and research the, research so much time mm. i don't know how he does it it's it's amazing so it just passed three million yep. subscribers by the way Jeez. well earned i was in the chat Fantastic. i saw you man congrats Love it. Well, well earned yeah okay so but yeah, this 19, is a fun subject yes in in 1908 roosevelt wanted he, he was actually doing this to a lot of different plots of land in america but he wanted to turn the Grand Canyon into a national park and basically cut timber and the mining companies out of the area to protect it. And G.E. Kincaid, sensing that it was going to be cut off from him, which in eventually it was cut off from everyone from um, exploring it, uh, decided to go in and e explore. He went down the Colorado River and about 40 miles up from uh, what was what was it called? Uh, the El Tover Crystal Canyon, uh, about 40 miles upriver from that point, uh, which is actually one of the main stop off points. So like whenever I went to the Grand Canyon, you drive in like the tourist spot. That's basically where it is. So it's like 40 miles upriver and no one goes upriver. You always go downriver from that point. Uh, not really surprising. 
so he, he was looking and he saw these stains up in these it, like up on the wall, like 2000 feet up uh, the, the cliff face. And he saw these stains thinking that it was probably gold or uh, something. He actually so, so he tied his boat and started looking, couldn't find any paths. But under the brush, he found stairs like actual s- stairs carved into sandstone. And they wound all the way up and actually have the image of the cave. Now, this supposedly, hold on, let me just show you. This is supposedly the entrance that he found. Um, now, this, this, you know, it doesn't look like much, right? Um, but then he goes inside and he discovers just uh, this main, this, this is a quote from him. Uh, The main passageway is about 12 feet wide, narrowing to 9 feet towards the farther end, about 57 feet from the entrance. The first side passages branch off to the right and to the left, along which on both sides are a number of rooms about the size of ordinary living rooms of today. There are some uh, 30 by 40 feet. And actually, let me... Okay, here is the original article. Now, I want to go over this later, but I just want to show you guys the map okay so they they have this map here all right and you could see all the different branches that are spawning out from the center uh area and this is where the statue uh that they found that looked tibetan like a buddha in in something along those lines and they actually talk about it later on but i I just wanted to show you this map because this is really cool this is the diagram of the underground cave and tunnels and rooms that they they found um, and uh, it's interesting so that there's both hieroglyphics and some Tibetan influences right. kind of happening at yeah, the same it, time because they found like urn, he found an urn or uh, some kind of pottery that has hieroglyphics it. on it, right? And seeds well, and, in, and in them. seeds, yeah, yeah, like uh, forever seeds, right? Uh, and so this this cave system, they estimated fifty thousand people could live there. You know what that reminds me of? cave systems in turkey same yep. kind of mm-hmm. systems all right they found uh like he Baron was saying the Dorn. jars with the Dorn. seeds Dorn. in them there was rooms for metal smithing these this civilization whoever lived here was in the bronze age thousands of years before the bronze age that we know um this is this is uh just it's incredible so he he was like this is amazing i i can't do this by myself he's realizing that these these systems these these cave systems so much more than he could handle by himself so he reached out to the smithsonian he actually uh, hit them up he sent a couple samples to them probably never got them back uh and they said Cappad- okay cappadocia yeah. what Sorry. is it cappadocia or docia the underground caves in, mm, I, in turkey i can't remember if it's cappadocia or cappadocia one of those two what what actually, is the ge- geological makeup of the grand canyon what's the stone well it's not sandstone, sandstone. Isn't? is it there there is sandstone yeah that's what the which is the same we're carved in sandstone uh which is yeah, the same I as mean, the turkey locate that that, that uh-huh. site it's all sandstone oh yeah that's and true. mudstone yeah that's and, what allowed them mudstone. to be able to to dig out the the entire so city much. like that yeah interesting okay. so it? very interesting though good point so he requested help from the smithsonian and they basically sent uh, an S.A. Jordan, was a professor at the Smithsonian, and they they brought 40 scientists, laborers, uh, and uh, researchers and experts in the field of, like, Tibetan uh, and hieroglyphs and uh, basically a, a squad just to, like, take over and document everything. Uh, and they realized that the cave system was actually symmetrical and all the paths led to a center t- chamber, uh, and that's what I showed you, that that chamber. Uh, which I hadn't seen before, which is pretty cool. Uh, and they called the place the Citadel. So that's that's the name of this whole complex. They called it the Citadel. And the team was overwhelmed with evidence uh, that this was a huge city. There was granaries, smithing, uh, t- same as these Turkish cities, so these underground yeah. cave dwellings. It was just like everything you needed. There was um these these mummy rooms actually here i have an image of this um this is uh really cool now i don't know if this these images are actually from the cave um but this is a representation of what he describes 
Okay, these this is like these mummy rooms, and he actually goes into more detail about how the the higher up, the more it seemed that the mummies were respected, right? The the lower towards the ground, they were more like um, young younger uh, kids, and I don't know, like the higher up you go, the more prestigious the position was. So, um, yeah, and the statues all look Tibetan, and the texts all look Egyptian. But the experts in those fields didn't recognize anything. They were like, the Tibetan experts were like, this looks like Tibetan, but it's not. And the Egyptian hieroglyph experts were looking at the hieroglyphs, and they were saying, like, "This, uh, we can't read this. This isn't hieroglyphs. It's not the, what we knew. So they couldn't decipher anything, um, which is freaking cool, if, if you ask me. Uh, they all agreed that it was from an advanced civilization, uh, far more advanced than the surrounding uh, native tribes ha had ever achieved at this point. Uh, they also uh, worked the bronze uh, long before the bronze age began, uh, and they also agreed that this civilization came from the other side of the world, probably because of the similarities from the Tibetan statues that they found and the hieroglyphs mm -hmm. uh, that they found. I think that's all they went on, so I don't know if I'd necessarily agree with that. I think that that's, that's just kind of was like, it makes sense. Because they've never seen anything on this continent that was similar. And since they were finding it, they were like, it must have come from the other side, right? But what I find really interesting is, like, if you're thinking of this in a, in a debunk situation, right? You go, okay, it, it, maybe this is just a story that somebody wrote. The, the city in Turkey was not discovered until the 60s, 1960s. Yep. And this describes almost the exact, exact same, same kind of complex oh yeah underground civilization or civilization but like a, a a place where people could live their entire lives and their families and society could live in this location have uh smithing and food preparation areas and all the same kind of hallmarks as yep. the one in turkey but it was this story is from 50 years prior to the discovery of that I think what's interesting, crazy? well, oh, I was going to mention the city in Turkey, there is no sy symmetry in the design of it, whereas this one does. Yeah, so right. it is possible that they are actually even more advanced with the True. Egyptian Turkey kind of mix, because, I mean, we've seen the pyramids and there's a lot of math involved in it. And how do people who, you know, have not a lot of knowledge do that? in a right. wide cave system there's well, not symmetry cave. but there there is a lot of engineering in the caves in turkey there there's oh, there's sitting rooms there's living rooms yep. there's places for livestock so it's clearly chambers, added on I as think time are, goes are very huge to to be able to understand how to get air to flow so you can breathe underneath with yeah that that, that, that whole vent people. system is insane the, the so there was exactly. engineering involved right um, and the sewage system too, because they had the water system mm -hmm. uh, in the well down at the bottom. It's like, it's, but it's how many incredible. times? How many times? How many times are we going to see? Have we seen that the older stuff is better? The mm. older stuff is always better when it comes to the stonework. It's not yeah. even close, uh, and it, it's to the point where most most archaeologists are actually starting to acknowledge this now. Uh, some aren't South America. And uh, sexy woman, uh, you know, it's pretty clear there. And they're still like, nah, it's all the Incas. But, you know, that's that's a story. How did they day. move those massive multi, multi-ton, just massive blocks? They got some oxen, uh, although there probably wasn't oxen there. Size they of used, a shopping they used center. trees, okay. even though they were above the tree line. And they were all barefoot tons. in their loincloth. Yeah, some oxen. They just, they just pulled it. All right. You okay. Know? Sure. There's some elbow grease. Elbow grease. That's what they use. Yeah. So that looked like I was jerking time, off a cow right there. Yeah, I <laughs> tried to I tried grease. to just move move forward just to move save on. you, but you had to just point it out. Uh so Kincaid <laughs> and and uh Jordan, Professor Jordan, they were like, This is insane. Like we we need to get more funding. We gotta search more areas uh because this was just one cave system that they found. So they're they're like, it's obviously there's gonna be more. So they went back to the Smithsonian asking for more funding and the funding got denied and they were never heard from again ever 
never. And this is all in the article. Well, this this no, this is the article after the article came out. Yeah, the article came out uh, in April fifth, nineteen oh nine. I don't know when they actually asked for more funding. Uh, That's that wasn't um, that didn't come up, so I'm not actually sure. Um, But he does go into some Native American legends, which I find very interesting because if we are compiling all of our knowledge that we've gained about ancient civilizations, whether it be Atlantis or whatever the what happened before the flood myths on pretty much every civilization that we talk about in the past, because there's always a flood myth. Turns out there's a flood myth circling around this exact place. Yeah. And uh, it, there's the, the Hopi Indians. All right. They believe that the first humans in the, in this uh, on the continent came from the Grand Canyon, like emerged out of the Grand Canyon. And this is what the Hopi believe. And I think that makes total sense. Uh, they they claim that it's actually lizard people that then shifted into humans, which, you know, maybe that's, that's where, the you know, the Clinton family line uh, originates from. Uh, but other Pueblo cultures, uh, like the Zuni and the Acoma, uh, have similar legends of people being there long before the tribes that were there. Uh, lizard people, but also giants, all right? They believe that they were giants. Uh, or uh, there was also the uh, the Pio- Piotes. Is that you know what I'm talking um, about, Garrett? What is it? Is it Piotes? Piotes. I think it's Piotes. Piute. 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 Is a P I A U T E. They also have legends of the Hav Musuvs, uh, the humanoids with golden skin and larger eyes. Also, could be giants. They were very tall. Uh, they were known to have silver sticks that shot lightning and could kill a man instantly like a phaser Mm. or they flew around in um silver boats star yeah silver boats in the sky though yeah it's like "Mm, all right what interesting (laughs) and and they they came after a great flood after after a cataclysm all right uh that the the hopi were were being decimated and a man flew down in a moving star and Introduced them to the people that lived inside of the city. They they referred to them as the ant people, uh, but they they were humanoid creatures with pale skin and large eyes, which would make sense if you lived underground for thousands of years. Man, it's right? like you check marks. It's like check. You would check, have check, pale check. skin and large eyes because you know be able to see in the dark, and you wouldn't you know have dark skin from not being in the sun. Um, but they were they were there. It was. The legend is from thousands of years ago, some cataclysm uh, was destroying them, and they brought them to the ant people into the caves, and they helped them survive in these caves. <laughs> it's like, if a cataclysm was coming, and some advanced civilization knew that this cataclysm was going to come, and I think that it's the freaking Micronovas. I think the Micronova theory makes more sense to me than anything else. And we're seeing it now. And if you follow the sun, uh, sun weather guy, do you follow him on Twitter? He, he no. does daily updates. All right. And he talks about what the sun is doing and how including every... that big ass hole that's in it right now. You, uh, well, explain that, Micronova. That's... What is Micronova? So the, the, that big ass hole is it's not a big ass hole. It's, it's, it's just the, the way size the infrared... of six earths. But the infrared camera, he he debunked that himself. Like he talked about it, and he was like, "Dude, these people keep posting this shit with fear porn, and it is not what people think it is. It's just the way the infrared camera takes a picture of the sun. It that it looks like there's a big hole. It looks like a big there, vagina. There's no big sun. hole in the sun. That's that was hey, all. Man. Just everybody's got a butthole. Porn. Okay, a, a micronova. It it has everything to do with the magnetic energy that goes in waves in our our solar system or our galaxy. All right, the Milky Way galaxy from the very center of the Milky Way all the way out to the outer rim because you can see it. It's like a saucer, right? The the Milky Way. All right. My, so my research was Twitter, sir, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> oh, there you. <laughs> That's all right. Well, <laughs> this guy has awesome videos, and and Jimmy Corsetti did a great interview with him uh, talking about micronovas and this whole theory. And it, it it at the core, it's this theory of magnetic energy. Uh, going through waves and every, I think, 6,000 years, 
there's the a, a wave hits our sun and our sun i don't know if it reverses I, that's actually every, every 11 years there's this there's solar cycles um but the sun is is majorly affected by this huge electrical wave that comes from the center of our universe or of our galaxy rather and our pole shift has everything to do with it the way that the earth and its magnetic field interacts with the sun and what happens the sun does this it's not a supernova that's when the star explodes a micronova is when the sun emits like a major blast of cmes and we get bombarded with it and it it can decimate uh civilizations and i think humans in the past or humanoids i should say because i think that there were different humanoids on this planet the giants the ant people, the lizard people, the the different hominids, the humanoids on this planet realize that this happened consistently. Every 6,000 years, the sun went on this planet. That's what Robert only... Shock thinks. Is that what he believes? Yeah, it was that's, like a supernova. That's, 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 theory with, uh, it's that's not what like I think. A, it, with uh, think Younger it Dryas, yeah. I think the elites know it. That's why they're building these underground bunkers, these bases, because they're just trying to pay for it by taxing us and getting us to jump on the next bandwagon because fossil fuels are, are getting really cheap. Uh, so they're like, oh, no, we got to do green energy, green energy, because that's a whole new thing that they can mine and sell everybody to flip for even more money uh, and, and build these bases. I, I mean, it might be far-fetched, but it's like, I, dude, I think I can that, still, I can not still, I can see it. Thing, no, no, dude. no, it is not far fetched that the sun could belt shit at, at Earth. Yeah. It's, it's a matter of time. I mean, it time. does constantly. It, it does. We had a Carrington event, right and that was nothing by the sun. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, at all times. But if we get, times, uh, yeah. you know, uh, Y Files did a video on this and we've covered it too the Carrington event. Mm -hmm. If mm. that happened now, we'd be so rude. <laughs> Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely screwed. So I think it's totally plausible for there to be a civilization before this cataclysm. It developed. Who knows how advanced it was, but it was advanced enough to know agriculture and crafts and how to make stuff and how to work I think metals. Manipulate gravity. I think possibly they do how to manipulate and, gravity. And then this cataclysm happened. Then they came to all these different. They were advanced enough to go. Okay, now we need to try and restart civilization again so, they went all yeah. over the world to these different places across the water across the land and then said hey look let's get you guys together they made this location they made gobekli tepe they tepe. made all these other different locations around the world to try to mm -hmm. kick start civilization so again and teach people because that's why warned, we see these all over the place who do you think warned everybody about the comet say it's a comet the atlanteans I think it, it was, was the, the atlanteans. it was the previous civilization they probably got the, the word out and well, said, Atlantis. You know, Get your affairs in order. Right. Exactly. Dig some holes. Right. Yep. Uh, Dig and some then holes, after it happened, they tried order. to restart civilization. And again, you know, Randall talks about this. We talk about it. It, it wasn't some, you know, crystal ship, super, you know, uh, science, science fiction Atlantis based on what we know from our technology and even what we speculate from our technology it was something completely different. Yep. It was it was a civilization civilization that developed that's probably was probably maybe advanced as the Romans, but we're more in tune with Earth uh, as as a lot of the hunter gatherers were. And, uh, it, it, you know, our 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 ancestors weren't idiots. Uh, they, they were not dumb at all. You know, civilizations rise and fall. We have a recent one. Rome, a, a lot of their technology was lost and we had to rediscover it. Look at right? the uh, we still don't know. Device. These are humans with the same that brain that we have. Mm -hmm. Same brain. It was a computer, a, a brass computer that was made uh, to document the solar system. Like, that's incredible. From 2,200 years ago. How the hell did we not know about this? But it's Greek, like, it got lost. Greek fire, yeah. we have no idea. Which is right. what wildfires Roman based concrete on song of ice and Same fire thing. yeah Roman concrete had to rediscover it like it was and these were things that weren't just like individual objects like the antikythera mechanism that wasn't just a one-off that we found like it was documented that it existed, it existed. like they knew that it yeah, was it was basically it like they, they all had found it. one we found one yeah. One. We were lucky enough to well, find a rosetta stone one thing that could teach us what hieroglyphs what they mean 
if yeah, we couldn't we if we didn't it. find that so rock cool. dude it's so cool if we didn't find that one one object we would not know how it works so there's so many things that are completely lost to time that we may never know because that one object is crumbled and it it's far into dust right right so, yeah there's so many things like that like the stories of of giants all around the world of cataclysms all around the world this very consistent story of another either it be interpreted by that whatever culture as a god or as a person or as a some other being that comes down and teaches them how to to create agriculture and to make fire and to advance their civilization that's very consistent all around the world so what is that that connects those things i think there's something there and the thing is it seems that just mainstream culture and historians and archaeologists just assume that they're all separate i'm like how is that possible that you don't see the connections between these and don't think how are they so connected across the world like this Dude, it doesn't make sense gun is the aboriginal dna in the middle of the rainforest stuff like yeah, that like that 16, is sixteen thousand years ago like sane to me so like we were or, we are definitely the, the connected they couldn't even they couldn't even figure out what the father was i say what because it wasn't a hominid like that freaked me out when Brian Forrester was like, "Yeah, we know the mother is is What's Homo this, sapien. Man? The father we don't know. Like, what the hell does that mean? What? How do you not know? How is that not more of a that's a bigger deal? So like, how far back pretty, is that? It's pretty crazy. You know, that um, means you were far back huh? enough to to mean that there is some other branch that was still around, right? In order a to hominid that right. wasn't a sapien, something else, right? Maybe it was an ant person. Yeah. Or one I, of the uh, what what are the Hav Hav Masov, the golden skin with large eyes. It was a who knows conehead sapien, right? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. maybe. dude. Maybe those were the ant. Those people. were two. Who knows? There's just so many amazing things that we're connected to, and I think just with the advancements of technology, with things uh, that we're seeing now that are being discovered, like almost every year now. Amazing mm -hmm. discoveries. I think we're going to learn more about our history in the next 10 years than we have in the last 50 years or the last 100 years. It's just going to get exponentially faster and faster and faster. And we're just going to learn so much stuff. Hopefully it's still there well, to be learned. You know, and it's not yeah, just we're going to learn it. I mean, I'll say as much from the amateurs that are out there. Luke uh, is yes, out there. You see yes. Luke Caverns, he's out running around the the jungle like Indiana Jones and, you know, uh, Ben's out there. So many people are out there are just on our own. Right. And uh, I don't care what their motivation is. I mean, I like, you can't doubt like Ben, Jimmy, Luke, they, they're all passionate about this subject. But even if somebody's out there and it's like, I'm doing it to make content and they discover something, I don't give a shit. As long as you discover That's something, great. get us to the I'm truth. Sharing. I really don't care. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's getting impossible for the gatekeepers now. Like, uh, uh, you know, does the Smithsonian cover stuff up? Well, this wasn't the Smith. I think it was. I don't know if it was the Smithsonian or not. Maybe it was. It was a museum. Got all those bones from the boneyard in Alaska. And did they not hide them and then dump them into uh, what was it? Where did they dump them again? It's in, in New York. York. It was in, in the in New York. Hudson? Hudson? Was it the Hudson or was it the other? The I think other it's the one? Hudson. Yeah, something like that. They dumped him in the Hudson and it's now verifiable because the guy went on Joe Rogan and started a <laughs> bone rush and told everybody where it was and they people went there and they're finding bones. So, yeah. yes. So, we have one example of a museum discarding stuff, covering it up, throwing it away. So, I'm guessing that when they had less scruples a hundred years ago when they were cut, when they were racist motherfuckers, when there were into the manifest destiny. Uh, but there was also the politics of it. And, and we have a whole different type of, and we'll, I'll get into my theory later. We have a whole different polit political correctness and, and, and politic thing going on right now. Yeah. That's almost the reverse because what's an indigenous person to America. Right. Good point. Uh, I am. The Clovis people were wiped out. They had no descendants. They died. They were in. They were here before anybody else. And then, who was there before them? Who were the hominids that were here before them? Because there were. 
and it's going back and back and back. So what what's indigenous? Uh, and that, yeah. you know, I'm okay with, uh, I, you know, don't rip any anybody's reservations away. And I'm fine with them protecting the dead. That even at Serpent Mound, the tribe yeah. that's there said, hey, that, that we didn't build it, but we'll protect it. Like, that's yeah, fine. Right. I'm, I'm okay with that. But the Pueblo uh, tribes, they say that they didn't make any of those things either. That they were, they they found them also. It was from the the people that were there before. That all all the humans came from that that cave system. It's like, well, what the hell does that mean? Right. It it means that they survived the freaking. So it, once again, whatever it is. Once again, it's not the people that are the the source of this political correctness. It's the outside uh, government institution institutions that create this political correctness around saying like you can't say anything was before the native americans because that would be extremely racist and horrible to say and this is their culture and except right, when they say like, it they say it and they and then and they you're go being raised oh, by ignoring what they say <laughs> <laughs> they go like you know? oh that's ridiculous like, those were uh, 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 sh- savages they don't know what they're talking about yes <laughs> Yeah. So, so it's kind of like the Democratic Party. They just rebranded. They're the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> same <laughs> shit. Different day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. So. All right. So this is the article. Oh, yeah. Let's wanna, get into the article. I want to I wanna go through it because it's pretty cool. So this is from the Arizona Gazette. Oh, it was the Phoenix Gazette, actually, uh, from 1909. Uh, I, I've got it right here. Yeah. So uh, it's not the exact print but they you transcribed know, they, they took, yeah it's been transcribed uh so here it is right here from the phoenix gazette 1909 uh, the latest news of the progress of the explorations of what is now regarded by scientists as not only the oldest archaeological discovery in the united states but one of the most valuable in the world which was mentioned some time ago in the gazette was brought to the city yesterday by ge kincaid the explorer who found the great underground citadel of the Grand Canyon during a trip from Green River, Wyoming, down the Colorado in a wooden boat to Yuma several months ago. According to the story related to the Gazette by Mr. Kincaid, the uh, archaeologists of the Smithsonian Institute, which is financing the expeditions, have made discoveries which almost conclusively prove that the race which inhabited this mysterious cavern hewn in solid rock by human hands was of orient oriental origin possibly from egypt tracing back to ramses if their theory are born out of the translation of the tablets engraved with hieroglyphs the mystery of the prehistoric peoples of north america their ancient arts who they were and whence they came will be solved Egypt and the Nile and Arizona and the Colorado will be linked by a historical chain running back to ages, which staggers the wildest fancy of the fictionist. Under the direction of Professor S.A. Jordan, the Smithsonian Institute is now uh, prosecuting the most thorough explorations, which will be continued until the last link in the chain is forged. Nearly a mile-long tunnel underground, about 14 hundred and eighty feet below the surface, the main, uh, the long main passage has been delved into to find another mammoth chamber, from which radiates scores of passageways like the spokes of a wheel. This is the map that I showed you earlier. So cool. Several hundred rooms have been discovered, reached by passageways running from the main passage. One of them, having been explored for eight hundred and fifty-four feet and another 634 feet. The recent finds include articles which have never been known as natives uh, to this country, and doubtless they've had their origin in the Orient. War weapons, copper instruments, sharp-edged and hard as steel indicate the high state of civilization reached by these strange people. So interested have the scientists become that preparations are being made to equip the camp for extensive studies and the force will be increased to 30 to 40 or 40 persons. Before going, or this will quote, before going further into the cavern, better facilities for lighting will have to be installed, for the darkness is dense and quite impenetrable for the average flashlight. In order to avoid being lost, wires are being strung from the entrance to all passageways 
leading directly to large chambers. How far this cavern extends, no one can guess, but it is now the belief of many that what has already been explored is merely the barracks, to use an American term for the soldiers, and that far into the underworld will be found the main communal dwellings of the families. The perfect ventilation of the cavern, the steady drought that blows through, indicates it has another outlet to the surface. And I, and you know what? Before I continue, I did I did uh, see that there was actually air holes all the way up on the top of the cliffs and that have now been covered in concrete. Yes. Right? Yes. Do you guys see this? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I did. Right. And this is stuff I didn't know. This is like why? Like, dude, this was this one I completely like said this is bullshit. That's that's what that but then I, when I started article. looking for further into it, I'm like, oh. well, I'm I'm at least Maybe. open to it, you know? Yeah. I'm at least yeah. open something. I, I I don't know what they found, but they're hiding something. Uh absolutely. Yeah. Uh and uh there there are many reasons for that and there's also we cannot count out incompetence like just overall government incompetence Absolutely. Sure. losing shit i mean uh the moon uh, you know, we don't even start on the moon landing but the recordings of the moon landing gone like there's like the, the, i just find it like this is an american this tradi- is an american uh, uh, shit. <laughs> uh national forest which is which by definition means it is our forest it is mm-hmm. the taxpayer's forest. It's mine. It's yours. It's oh, our property. Plan. Why do is there any portion of it that is locked off that we can't go to? It's for your safety. It is for Screw that. <laughs> Gary. Screw that. I want to get dangerous. Freedom yeah. isn't safe, Gary, right? Uh, <laughs> right. That's my mantra, Damn. man. Freedom Damn is straight. dangerous. Freedom yeah, is yeah. a dangerous thing that I'm willing to die for. I am yep. willing to risk getting robbed risk getting shot for freedom absolutely because the alternative is uh sitting in your concrete bunker where you eat bugs you wear your green or or gray outfit and uh sit around and talk to another gray blob slavery Uh, it's it's i've been there already it's called prison i don't want to be there again fuck that is there i maybe i'm just uh i don't know maybe we could ask your mom about this like are there any other Examples of something like this in a national park where they block it off to traffic for your I, safety. Like, why? Why couldn't you go anywhere well, in, in Colorado? Inside of this? Well, the, there the are Pueblo, many places in Grand Canyon under, under the cavern. You know what we talked about uh, the four, last four one one episode. Uh, that place that I went to, like on on the palace, the cave palace. Yeah, of the yeah. pueblos. So you can't go there. By no, yourself. you can't. But I mean, what's inconsistent and there's is so many sites you in that. Climb oh, with, with that, with wait, that wait, example, wait, wait, though, wait. you can climb Half Dome and El Cap whenever the fuck yeah. you want in Yosemite. People, uh, so I used to stay in Yosemite every summer, every year when I was a kid for 15 years straight, and every fucking vacation, two people died. Up, like that's the minimum. Two happens, people man. died. Sometimes it was three. Climbing up, or they found a body on that mountain mm-hmm. all the time. So that's bullshit. I Just say the difference be, the difference between that and the, the location you were saying, Adam, is that's like a, a site. That's something that we all know okay. that this is a site that they're trying to protect and keep people from just walking on. This in the right. Grand Canyon is just an well, area you're not supposed site, to though. go to. It, no, it this, would be. This would be a site. If, it would be publicly, but I'm saying like, I'm saying like publicly, well, there's not a site there. They are just locking it off to say this is too dangerous for public to go to. The site that you are saying, this is a publicly known site that's historic and they're trying to protect it. That's the difference. G.E. Kincaid didn't even want people to go there. Yeah, I was just going to ask that. Right. He's on record saying, I don't want people going. Uh, Let me see if I actually have his quote. Uh, No, I don't have it. Do you think maybe he he, he told them to block it off? He probably knew. Yeah, Dude, he probably, the government was probably like, yo, we go ahead, keep working. Uh, You're going to Go, be gone from the world and he's probably like i don't give a shit this is the biggest thing i've ever like been a part of like of course i'm i, I i'll do anything to maintain being the researcher here and they they probably found all the stuff probably found evidence of like either the micronova or, or whatever the cataclysm that that caused them to need to build this underground base in the first place right this this is um uh, the entrance it says here is 
1,486 feet down a sheer canyon wall. You're not getting to this without either knowing where those stairs are, which they're probably cut off from public, or like scaling right. down the side of a mountain, right? Which like, they did find gonna... like uh, the, the anchor hooks points. and stuff, anchor points right. for exactly. rappelling down walls and things. Yeah, like yeah. why was that there? That's and weird. multiple why caves that, that are blocked off, multiple man made caves that are right. black, blocked off. Hey, what holes. the heck's going on? Man? Yeah, what, what's really going on? The protective mm-hmm. stats. Yeah, bullshit. You don't close off a bat cave. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. (laughs) Maybe they may protect the bat. They die. I am the bat. The bat. The bat. The man. That's what's so mysterious about it. It's like, it's the Grand Canyon. It's public property. Why is it blocked off for safety reasons? That What is the reason Uh, other than that? It's a restricted area. Whatever it is, it's restricted. Right. Why? And uh, Y Files pointed out like one couple tried to get there and there's a plane. They got buzzed by a plane. Some other people went there. They yeah, got buzzed Jerry, by a helicopter. Jerry F- Wills, FAA keeps was. keeps any flight from lowering going below the the Sorry. line of the Grand Canyon. Yeah, yeah. And this this is why, I, or this is when I want to talk about Lovelock now. And now I think you should you should break that down because the connections are pretty, pretty cool, interesting, right? You want, you want to Gary, would you like down? to do that? So Lovelock like is in Lovelock, Nevada, and it's a dry lake bed that had water. Uh, there are some who believe, uh, and it's not the out of the realm of possibility, that 12,000 years ago, that lake, you could access it from the Pacific Ocean. Uh, okay, so there you was a boat from the Pacific boat. Okay. into the yep. lake. So okay. uh, long story short, there was a young squaw. We can't say squaw anymore, but I'm going to say it anyway. There was a young female member of the tribe who passed on a story that her elders fought giants with red hair. Uh, They got tired of these giants who were, I mean, not quite feral, but very savage. Uh, Sarah Winnemucca. Bone tomahawk kind of vibe. She was the daughter of uh, of the chief. Yeah, so they were plucking uh, members of other tribes. Uh, plucking kids, doing whatever, possible cannibalism, to where the other tribes got pissed, united, and fought them and had a final battle where they trapped them in a cave, where they hid in a cave, and they set the cave on fire and let them all die. Uh, Many, many years later, while looking for bat guano uh, and other things in the cave, um, some uh, miners, uh, for lack of a better term, had dug up some artifacts, including sh- like little moccasin sandal things that were size 15, which is actually the size of my son's foot. Very large, very, very large. large. Um, and uh, some other tools, I, I think some, some, uh, some like duck stuff. Yeah, it's a duck yeah. decoy. So duck like, decoy. like a hunters would use. Yeah, yeah. hunters. So they found stuff, but it, they found it in feet of guano. Yeah fucking feet imagine digging through that but um they found it in feet and supposedly they found giants with red hair uh they were taken to uh, university of california berkeley by the way some of these artifacts are still there are there not the giant skeletons no but all the other stuff you can find you can go see uh and um that is the lovelock caves it is a real thing you can go there and they have a little sign they don't talk about the giants, but the giants were part of it. And, you know, I, I, I love the subject of giants. Don't know if I believe it. I, it'd be, I, I don't see why not at this point. And we've gone over it in the previous giant specials to where bodies are very difficult to find. We don't, we don't find Denisov Denisovans. We know from a tooth, from a fucking tooth, uh, other hominids. We know from pinky bones, we don't have, full skeletons of other hominids Gary, there's there's hominids we've never fucking we'll probably never discover ever was it we'll was it the find no sign of them that had uh, yes I, I forget the guy who said he he was in like a back room in the smithsonian opened a thing and there was a giant skull that was david hatcher childress on an That's episode right. of ancient aliens where he uh it's it's in wyoming wyoming or colorado He's in one. Okay. He's at, at a university. They gave him access. He opened a what what looks like a just a cupboard in an office. 
pulls out two skulls and one's a human skull one's a giant skull and one's like way fucking bigger and you right. can't really okay. tell until you see university? one university i wasn't sure where it was yeah it was at a university okay. um all right and uh there have been other picture like real pictures of the giant bones the the best one and the worst case is the is in catalina island right where that guy just dug the shit out and like yeah. Made a yeah. bone museum bone museum right <laughs> um and then mixed those with other human bones and made that whole yeah. museum thing where it was like he kind of missed mixed them all up yeah on a yeah. side note there's a there's evidence at the uh at catalina like for one people live there for a long time that's also evidence of the uh the continent-wide fire during the younger dryas I, I repeat again, the right. continent wide fire, <laughs> the entire continent was on fire. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and, and uh, that's probably what, but back to love, love lock. Micro so, would have done that. Micro, it could have, it could have, yeah. that's a way scarier prospect than like surviving a it comet is. for some reason. Cause you have, yeah. I know, you know, the comets centralized location, at least the big pieces are the micro Nova. Well, Chuck's the, the sun was global. belching the sun belching out plasma is just random <laughs> it, it just anywhere true yeah, there's yeah. no gone yeah. that's global too well i mean according to to this guy i mean it's we're we're due for it in by 2050 the the next micronova because it's every six thousand years you know what i do for it's fun like, sometimes oh, that's great my chill time you know what i do i watch uh videos about uh speculation of like how yellowstone will kill us all i mean that's that's my fun downtime <laughs> <Not> stuff <laughs> oh, we can all just go away in an instant pressure. i'm no longer afraid of yellowstone because there's no pressure build up it's an open wound there's no it's, it's it you should build be the pressure because it's, there it's are giant pressure. open wounds that go uh -huh all the way into the pacific ocean because that's a fixed hot spot on our planet that the right and the, the mantle goes moving over. over it and right, uh right, right. it's moving over and those big old holes from previous eruptions uh, eruptions go right into the pacific they, ocean <laughs> and it's oh man they're huge there's the organ anomaly has anybody ever seen the organ no, no i don't know this no, no, that's, that's what they call map, the penis look at oregon okay. and look at the big circle thing there's a big circle thing and nobody, they, they don't know what the hell it is. They suspect it might be <laughs> an old caldera for, um, I mean, anomaly. you know about your anomalies and your holes, uh, but uh, it might be an old caldera from uh, Yellowstone. Oregon, where, where in the state? I find a picture of it. The southern part of the state. Southern? Okay. I'll find it. Hang oh, on. it's creepy looking. Google Maps. Oregon. It's like anomaly. sunk into the floor. Did you find it? I'll find no, it. No, I can't uh, find it. I'll find it. Is it the no, Oregon it. Vortex House of Mystery? No, 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 no. You don't don't even look at Crater Lake. See it, it. Crater uh, Lake. No, you can see it. To go back to the the Lovelock Cave while you're looking for that, I, I was watching the Lore Lodge and he's he's got a lot of great content and he's a historian and he really goes into like the native histories and what the makeup is of that area when he does a video on something. So he talked about how the the Paiute, all, the Paiute is like the nation of the Paiute. And then inside of it, you had these different tribes within the Paiute tribe. And each one would be called something different based upon what they ate. They would be like, those are the fox eater tribe. Those are the, the, the rabbit tribe. Those are the fish. Lake? See where it says Silver Lake? Is it the gi circle this right giant there. circle? There's a circle. Yeah. That is kind of giant right. circle. What the hell, and, what the hell is um, that? You can track these circles. Uh, Randall did Is that it. concave I, I or found vex? it from Randall. So concave. there's circles that go all the way down here, and it kind of it wraps. It goes through Northern California, it wraps up Oregon, goes through Idaho, and it and it goes right to Yellowstone. And it just it's all the old cold That's calderas. Crazy. Boom, 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 wow. boom. They go out into the Pacific Ocean. Or calderas. Oh. Huh. Uh, Anyway, so oh. they called the 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 giant tribe not of their not of their make. So they don't believe that they were of their people or any people around them. They didn't think they were Indians. They looked different from them. And in the stories they said they had red hair that covered their bodies. Uh some sometimes they told it they didn't it didn't cover their bodies, but in some they it covered their bodies. They had red hair. They were giants. Um 
pale skinned, and they called them the Suteka, which were which means the tool the tool eaters. And tool is a type of water reed that they would that they said in the story that they would weave into boats that they would use to go up and down this river or in the in the lake. And somebody brought an interesting theory up. Now we were talking about it before the the show. Is the what if these are Vikings? Now to to the the tribes, they would see them as giants. They would be much larger. I could see the a Viking having a size twelve foot. Right? Mm -hmm. They were saying that maybe they were some kind of like feral Viking race that got mm -hmm. here. People got smaller because of the dark ages and lack of food and malnutrition. So that, but, but if they got, if they big, somehow got here, Vikings. but they, but they, that, yeah. Mm. Um, some of the giants, like and you said, it's connected, but it could have been connected. Yeah, by the ocean, it may right? be, maybe, uh, some of the giants just are theory said to be that like up. I was nine, 10 feet tall at the tallest. Right. So when we say giants, we're not talking about 35 foot feet, yeah. five foot. Um, just to, for people who are new, we're talking about like just really tall, right. like seven. The women are seven foot on average, men eight to nine foot on average, which is still fucking huge. Um, and but the difference is it's not some genetic disease. They are very well proportionate. They're fast. They're strong. Some have double sets of teeth. It's uh, it's like the the giants of old. So it's it's biblical, but it's also every other mythology that you've ever heard in almost every major country from That's every major one of those country, things man they all have yep. giants another one well, of those things happened, you know the, the younger dryas the megafauna just got decimated in north america like who knows how what north america oh. looked like oh yeah thousand years oh. ago uh randall's i don't know if it's his last live stream but it's one of the last two they were discussing the footprints found in New Mexico near the dry lake mm. bed that were 23,000 years old. And there was some like wow. iffiness on the date because the seed they found was originally underwater. But I guess they've worked that out now. And that it is a bunch of like thousands of footprints they found that were under layers of sediment. Mostly of children. Mostly of children. Weird. Or very tiny people. I don't know. Um, and people. And, and adults. Right along with dire wolves, camels, horse, short faced bear, everything wow. from pre younger dryas. They were just walking ago. on the same shore and uh, leaving, no. leaving footprints. Wow. And didn't uh, they just, just discover a footprint in the Grand Canyon that dates back like thousands of years? They might have. Really? But this this one's a I new discovery too. This, on, this, this is in White Sands. They won't tell you where it is, obviously. But it's in White Sands and it's new. It's brand new. Mm. Um, so what Randall was wondering is like, all right, so they killed off all the short faced bears, all the mammoths, all the fucking camels, but then they walked along the same beach all the time. And then you know, they like, killed the, themselves all as well. And then they killed all the themselves. Same <laughs> yeah. Mm. We don't know. It's Clovis. Mm. Uh, I think they were even saying it might be pre Clovis. So this might be something completely new. Um, after this, feel free to go watch. Uh, it's his last live stream. It was great. It was great. Newly, uh, newly discovered, discovered fossils. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah you go ahead. You go ahead. Go newly ahead. discovered fossil footprints from Grand Canyon National Park force paleontologists to rethink early inhabitants of ancient deserts. There's a photo of that. Uh oh, early uh -oh. inhabitants. Maybe they What's dug a, a cave. Time Maybe frame. they had hmm. some help. Yeah. An international team of paleontologists are united to study important fossil footprints recently discovered in a remote location with, within the Grand Canyon National Park, Arizona. A large sandstone boulder contains several exceptionally well-preserved tra trackways of primitive tetra tetrapods? What's a tetrapod? Four legged. It says it right yeah. there, right yeah. afterwards. So, <laughs> which inhabited an ancient desert environment. 
So that that definitively means that the Native Americans are not the native. They weren't the first ones here. the appearance of the earliest dinosaurs. So these are like just really old animals right here. 280 million years old. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Yeah, that's pretty okay. old. That's animals. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so, cool. Holy Look shit. <laughs> the okay, fuck? so they're Zoom animals. in on that. That is awesome. Wait, let me just hit what plus, plus, plus. Wow, that? that's well. Wow. So this oh, is like so this like broke it dude, probably the broke off of people, there and man. fell down. That's, Holy shit! That's it's their ancestors. Stacks, bro. That's so cool looking. It's the fucking <laughs> sleeve stack. And okay, it's this is not the one I was like, looking at. Wow, these are, these are super obvious, and they just found them. Yeah, they're like sitting in the open. I mean, that's so it's cool. pretty wild country the out there. That's not the one I was thinking of. I was thinking of the they actually found a human foot. What is oh, that? Okay. What the oh, hell is, is that cool, a footprint though. of though? Oh, we just lost Garrett. We just well, lost Garrett. Zorbu, Zorbu, it's a slee stack. I yeeted myself out. It was slee stacks confirmed. Don't listen to your shirt, Garrett. <laughs> here it is. Okay, here we go. Or Zorbu, three hundred thirteen million year old footprint in the Grand Canyon. Three hundred fifty million. Is that what you just wow. said? Wow. Yes. Hold on. Let me find a million dollar. Million dollars. But it's a human. I'm thinking footprint? about money. This one is a human. Three hundred fifty million years old. What? Hold up. Don't call me that. Species. Hold up. Probably. It was it was uh the homosexuals. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm finding it from like a reputable source. <laughs> yeah, Grand like Babylon B. And it's like, wait a minute. CNN. Well, the reason why I brought oh, up. Oh, yeah, that, that's uh, legit. The, the, I would the, rather the, listen the to the Babylon B. <laughs> so so right, the, we'll megafauna, this the reason I brought up the megafauna is, you know, these the Pueblo cultures, they, they have these theories of giants. And this is Arizona. So if you go over to Nevada and there's these giant uh, theories for like the, these, they, the people that were here before were giants and the megafauna was around. Uh, maybe there was some giants that were maybe in a cave like Lovelock Cave that survived because if this cave system could support 50,000 people, like that's a city, right? That's not that just is. like a small cave where they hunk hunkered down, right? This is like, we're we're in for the long haul. We're gonna live in here, and right. you know maybe the giants you know, like they had their own spot that they were living, and then they started coming out and you know plucking people. That's the whole story of the low block cave, and then they just rose up and got and got killed because mm -hmm. they were killing people. You know, and, cannibalistic and style. Maybe okay. Let's just go out there because that's mm -hmm. what we do in this show. It's not. I forbidden. would love that. So. I would love the that. giant race, the race of bigger hominids, we'll say, was advanced at one time and devolved due to the cataclysm, whatever reason, and they went savage. And that's why we get so many mm -hmm. contradicting reports of there's some very, very gentle giants out there that will talk to people. There's that uh, that that were rulers of the of of whatever whatever people made the mounds that uh, we have some record of of actual Europeans talking to at some point, the, the remnants. Maybe. Well, and humans, then there's just look at humans, humans. Exactly. Are great and, also and then there's assholes. some that just went feral True. and cooked ancient meth there's out feral in the desert right of now. Nevada and uh, started eating people. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it probably still. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Cooking meth and the so I, I followed the I followed the links down and it just links back to the paleontologist article. So they were okay, just well, they put like a, a human foot picture. So it made you think like, oh, it's a human foot. Okay, so it's a yeah, vertebrae. It's, just, it's it's a vertebrae. That's what they said. Something with a backbone. Yeah. None okay. of the press has that. I know so we're we're losing our ability. We're all a bunch of yeah ancient meth. <laughs> that's right. Ancient meth. Well, okay, let's go there because they found cocaine in some of the mummies in Egypt. Cocaine. How'd they get that? How'd they get that? that? Well, they had to get it from the South America because they couldn't get it where they were. It didn't grow there. Hmm. Cocaine. What, what what plant is the cocaine cocaine from? The cocoa know. plant. Yeah. Cocoa, like chocolate? I, I is it actually? I don't think no, cocaine the same. comes from uh, South it's the America. The, it only grows there. Yeah. Coca, it's not the same. The, the coca plant. I, I not the same as chocolate. No, no, not that I know of. I like Although that would be funny if it was. Cocaine is a Cocaina? hell of a drug, Jake. You're right. Is that actually the name of it? Cocaine. I was thought it was just another name o -C -O -C -A, for cocaine. C O C A, and it's not cacao. Okay. Yeah, cocaine mummies. Yes. 
Cocaine and they found mummies, mummies in uh, not the what's the desert in China? X-ray girl, it's your home country, you know. No, <laughs> that's your people. They found the red-headed. Yeah. They found the red-headed no. white desert. mummies in the middle of the desert in China. That that's a real deal too. Actually, you know, it's that's were, something interesting about larger. the love lock. They weren't giants, but they were like six foot. That's something yeah. about the the love lock. So the the in the Kobe, stories in the in the native told oral you're tradition. You're not a very good Chinaman expert, girl. Yeah, come on. I'm you should know your man. region. I'm a woman. <laughs> in the, China, China likes cocaine. All right? They do. That's Look, true. In fact, everybody loves it? cocaine. My, mom, my mom got me this Chinese uh, antique. I was going to say, your mom, my mom got me you know some Chinese is? cocaine. You know, you know what this <laughs> is? Is it inside of that? <laughs> it's a freaking cocaine device. Shut the front it door. Is? It's yeah, a, it's a little... Actually, you know what? I can like a little spoon? Are you sure it's not for snuff? See the oh, little spoon? It could be snuff. It could, it be, could snuff. be snuff. Isn't that no, the same thing? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, they probably like from... cocaine. They they like to export their opium. So, yeah, <laughs> and they like probably. their opium too. I've never used it, by the way. Uh, it's China it's white. Insane. What I was gonna say is uh, the in the oral traditions of telling the story about the Love Lock Cave. Oral. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they <laughs> would they they called them. The red-headed people, right? They call them the meat eaters and the, the human eaters and the red-headed, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they tried to later discredit that and say that, well, it's it's only because of the aging that the hair is red. They're not actually red. Well, that doesn't make sense because the traditions were told hundreds of years so what before about all the these scientists hair came and that found these. didn't turn red. Sorry, Garrett. But no, absolutely. Yeah. What about yeah. all of those, all the mummies that we found that don't have that? If they, if you're trying to say that it's because of the soil in the area, even that, if you say it's the soil in the area that got into their hair and made it red, well, then why were they telling the same story hundreds of years ago and saying that they had red hair? Yep. Before they discovered the fossilized, uh, not the fossilized, but the the mummies that were in the cave. Well, that's where the white supremacy bullshit gets put on Graham, right? Because he just right. repeats what he heard right. from civilizations in his book. And right. the white men um, with beards that showed up to, to help teach agriculture, essentially. Yeah, yeah. and, and set, we're not trying to like... humans on the right path. I don't know. I, I, I'll speak for myself. Uh, no one's trying to reinforce like our race or anything i don't, I don't give a shit about <laughs> i that. give a crap yeah. i don't give a fuck <laughs> right. my name is a joke like, yeah like, <laughs> right well yeah, like, but accurate an it's accurate, accurate but it's a joke right uh, yeah, so, I, yeah i i i, I want to just know the truth yeah that's all i want to know Facts. and i hate that there were that we're in a time where if the truth was that a an or like a, a guy came that was white and had a, a gray beard or whatever and came over and taught agriculture to these uh, natives, if that is true, and we discovered that, they would suppress that. Because it's racist. So that is the dumbest place that we're, we're in now, is even if it was true, it would get suppressed. It is. And you're right. Graham doesn't do science, and he admits that. Like, he's he's a reporter. Yeah. He's yeah. an investigator, investigator and a reporter. What he, what he has done is he has connected things that look very similar throughout the world i mean just to break it down into the most basic description yeah he he has found commonalities between ancient civilizations separated by thousands of miles and thousands of years uh very unusual ones like the handbags the yep. handbags that are at gobekli tepe that are in south america that are in turkey uh they're they're, they're depicted in practically china. the same way in mesopotamia in china mm -hmm. it's crazy so uh yep. all these and then he this goes valley somebody please investigate this uh and he's done something that not a lot of archaeologists and, and, then, do. and then another thing he does is ask why ask he why. goes look at all the stuff what does it mean yeah you know and, and they freak out they're like how dare he uh, ask these questions it's like they're perfectly i'm questions. an authoritative source a uh, school gave me a piece of paper to say so right yeah you know they taught uh they taught really really horrible things in Nazi Germany and those were schools. Those, so yeah, that's a good point. Just yeah. every school is just I'm reputable sure they're going to love you for that analogy, Garrett. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> like that's a fact. Like not just because you're no, a school doesn't mean that you're right. Doesn't right. mean that you're the only source of truth.
The truth is out there. It's not you. I think Gary's totally right. We're going to see more stuff come from the independent people that go out there and just yep. find it. They take that why question and they go figure it out. And they don't worry about the gatekeepers that are in academia because those yeah, people are I mean, obviously holding everything back. Obviously, not everyone in academia is evil, True. just most. Um, and uh, organized, I don't like organized. And not things. every, uh, there's a lot of very good archaeologists <laughs> out there, but like, what? Wh- why did you get in your profession? Is it passion or is it just something you felt like you needed to do? I'm going to go to school. I'm going to follow these rules and I'm going to stay in school, you know, or are you going to be passionate like Randall, like Graham, like Luke and many others, including archeologists who flip that, who pay their own fucking way to go. At, yes who pay their own way to go investigate these things and not wait for some grant or anything because you genuinely, genuinely want to know the truth. Uh, those are the people I'm going to believe. Those are the, the people who are driven by passion and then, you know, obsessive knowledge. And there's not many people like that in the world. You're, you're not going to find another Randall or Graham. Both of them are like highly OC. Well, I wouldn't say OCD, but highly obsessed, weaponized ADHD on this subject. And uh, and good, good. We need people yeah. like that. I, I think well, I this, think they're they're inspiring more people like that. Yes, mm. which I think is a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I was just saying this. This is the time right now where Hollywood, the the those people that care about their diplomas, that the archaeologists with the author, moral authority, whatever complex, it, all of that is losing their power to the passion of the people. Like the internet is connecting us like we're going around them we're like we don't need you guys anymore like fuck all that our culture is going to do its own thing without that we're going to find all of these things that graham hancock's pointing out that randall carlson's pointing out jimmy corsetti's where you know they're connecting these dots for for the people who are passionate about it and we don't need this moral authority bullshit that they're shoving down our throats like we can connect the dots ourselves we're not stupid it's, it's like an indie movement alive. for education exactly. in these um, historical moments. And I mean, I will mm-hmm. defend some of the actual passionate people in academia because there is a lot of red tape and check boxes that they need to do in order to get their research funded. And it's True. really stiff and scary to think like, oh my God, if I say the wrong thing, I don't have a job. Yeah, yeah. That's their whole life, Fuck right? That. They spent decade in school or whatever. That's, like, that kind of it's yeah. that kind of institutionalism needs to go, and it is starting to go. Yes. And that's why in the other realm that we cover, you cover politics, and I cover pop culture. The same thing is happening. Like we're disrupting the thing. The the institutions are being disrupted. Uh, the the gatekeepers, the flow of information is being disrupted. And yeah, there's a lot of bullshit in it. And you want to know why? Because Adam brought it up earlier. Freedom's dangerous. Freedom's dangerous, but everybody should be allowed to speak. We should be able yep. to cover anything. What does the Y file say at the end of every video? Because like their videos, like we're going to present this thing, then we're going to kind of debunk it. But if it's even a half of a percent true, you need to you need to research it. You can't shit on it. You know, if there's even a slight chance that some of this might be true, and even Graham and Randall say this, like, hey, you know, we have these hypotheses. If even only half of them are true, that's a quarter of them it's amazing it's one of the yeah. greatest stories out there and uh what why do we have so many so many institutions companies people trying to stop that well because they want to control the information all of it and it's not even specific they might not even give a fuck about like atlantis they but they want it but it's all of the if they let one thing through it'll let the other thing through and they right. don't want that but they can't stop yeah, it. Knowledge, knowledge is dangerous to them as well, right? It, it, it absolutely is for everyone. But knowledge we need a Martin Luther to go in there and like, like you said, everybody can have the knowledge. Culture is going to do its thing. What's happened is the the powers that be have really tried to prevent that over the last yep. four or five years and yeah. pulled it off Matter. to a certain extent. But it's, it's too late. It, culture is like Dam's water. Broken. You can dam it off as much yep. as you want but that that sounds, fucker's yep. gonna break Dance eventually broken, man it's yep. busted yeah yeah there's so much connectivity now that uh, i think it, it, it'd be very hard for them to do that because we're we could pass information back and forth through many many different channels even if they take the mainstream ones down facebook youtube twitter 
there's still a million other ways we can connect with each other and get information around the yeah. around there'll the be world. Something else. There, there, there might not be, be something centralized, else. but like there'll be multiple ones. Mm -hmm. You know, Twitter's the great disruptor right now. Believe it or not, why they're talking about that's why they're talking about just shutting down the power grid. Right. That, they're like, trying they, to stop that. That that's their their next thing that they're. The, the the major computer virus that they'd have to reset everything and turn off the power grid like wow wef like, that's the extent that you're going to to shut everyone out yes well, they just went to a pretty extreme extent <laughs> well, this yeah. is the next one and they practiced that one beforehand too mm -hmm. that's the that's the mm -hmm. most i'm willing to speak on this subject <laughs> there's a pattern we could just say there's a pattern dude yeah, how crazy would it be to go to egypt dude I agree. I touch the stones, it, you know. It's a touch lifelong those... dream. It's a lifelong dream of mine. Nubs. In fact, I mean, I I keep I keep this on my desk for a reason. I like I I I could look at this. I, I love it. I, I can't wait to go. Taking a I just got this. Melissa's taking an. Uh, yeah, there you go. I love that you guys are researching. She's taking an online class on it. Oh, dude, could you could cool. she send me the link? I want to know. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, do it. Nice. And this is like just I wanted to get something that wasn't that wouldn't get infused with a bunch of like academic crap it's just an atlas it's old the bare book. bones it's old too it's like uh i think it's, it's 85 books. it's not that old but dude, 85 I, i'm working on my library and i'm buying just up. the sites they're super cheap dude you can go to half price books you can go three to bucks. Yeah, three bucks three bucks half price all books. these books that are fucking old and great and uh also got and, this one which was... yeah you can get a whole stack of them for like 10 bucks texas cool oh. it's like 63 it's like or something i think 61. 1961. Indians of Texas. I love That's the right. smell of old half, half price books. It's great. Half price. I love half price books, man. It's the best right. place. They never have Conan books, though, because people are buying them. They're, they're always gone. I'm always looking for Conan books, and they're just never there. Yeah. It's hard to find really yeah. good ones, but yeah. Books from estates, too. You're right, KG. Uh, Melissa went nuts in Palm Springs. Pump Springs is a great place to thrift because there's a bunch of old people who die. A bunch Sorry. of old people. But, um, <laughs> and so uh, they leave their books, book collections, and that they're insane. They're really insane. So the estate sales in Palm Springs, pretty fucking good. They do those all, like year round. Can we hit one up next time we go to the Cosmic Summit? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I want to go to uh, yes. Cosmic next. Books Cosmic are free Summit. online, but I like Let's to hold it. them. I like to. Actually, hold you gotta go. We all gotta go. We all gotta go. Yeah, we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll go. Got to make it happen. Uh, yes, I Biden the book. I sniffed it. it you smelled did. Biden the book. He did. I saw it. He did it live. As yeah, not a minute ago. So. Uh, okay, we should. Um, what time is it? Read super chats. Yeah. Super soups. Uh, real, real quick. Yeah. I, I really yeah. can't stress enough. Uh, how much the Y files uh, helped me out with doing the research yeah uh, check out the y files they're they awesome great videos yeah, they're well very cool i just produced. i really love love their videos and they're fantastic a anything oh we're talking about something just go to the y files and like type it in there's a video on it and it's awesome and, and then see we're slyly research. stealing your research because you guys are so <laughs> yeah. freaking good it's but it's they just dig everything. deeper because uh there's art bell episodes on this there's coast right. to coast episodes there's lectures uh, they'll they'll be portions of uh you know David Hatcher, Hatcher Childress has talked mm -hmm. about this quite a bit. I love that guy, by the way. I love how he talks like this. Um, but he's he he doesn't do a ton of lectures, but when he when he does, they're great. Uh, they are absolutely great. Giorgio unfollowed me on Twitter. What he unfollowed you? Yeah, he did. Giorgio. Oh no. Eh, it's probably some something, something I said. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh well. Oh well. Uh that's fine. Shame. Like, you know who hasn't though? Snake Bro still follows me. Uh Ben still follows me. Jimmy well, I feel like they gotta come back on. They're those guys are awesome. Oh yeah, they I are. didn't even get to meet them, man. They're local. Oh yeah. They're they're not far they're from me. Freaking cool, man. Yeah. We'll we'll get them back on. Yeah. They do really, Keep really fun back stuff. On. And they're funny too. They're actually funny. The Wild Files gave us a mention in their three million subscriber stream this past week. Oh, yeah, that's did. Whoa. Yeah. That's no freaking way. huge. Thanks, guys. That's fucking awesome. That was uh, Paul in chat. Let us know. That's freaking rare. Yeah, somebody Aww. asked him that if they were going to come on to our show. 
and he was like, you know, I really like those guys, and I'm talking to X-Ray Girl, so we're gonna make it happen. So yeah, I mean, he's they're pumping out like, dude, really they work so hard, they're working hard, really high quality videos as far as editing and research and uh, you know just the technical work behind it and the writing. The if they find extra time, I, I, I it would be appreciated. I know how little ex extra time I have, so. I'm just going to fan fangirl over it the whole time. I'm like, hey, I need Hecklefish <laughs> to come on. I get Hecklefish. Well, I mean, that's who I really want to interview. Yeah. Right. Well, Hecklefish. Can we just get Hecklefish? Based. I just, yeah. just yeah. want to know his origin story. <laughs> uh, WG has get, uh, gifted five Nerdrotic Live memberships for $25. Thanks, buddy. WG. Yeah. WG. Thank you, bro. The G stands for game. Oh, by the way, Graham just released a talk beyond ancient apocalypse five days ago on his oh. uh on his youtube channel uh it's a good lecture go it's it's a it's some of what we saw garrett and then there's some new stuff really Ooh. or no you weren't there gotta get him sunday on, wait, the, new, sunday, the new the new uh yeah it's on the graham hancock youtube channel it's called beyond ancient apocalypse great lecture zorbu for fifty dollars oh no zorbu i'm just gonna come out and say it wow. damn it gary where has Forbidden Frontier been? Bigfoot, Bigfoot was worried sick. My crew was even forced to probe complete strangers the past month. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Quarter dark mode is jealous now. Anyway, no. anyway just glad you're back. Uh, traveling. <laughs> I went to Wisconsin for Thanksgiving. As a matter of fact, I'm recording my first video for my studio in like a month. Yeah. Mm hmm in a month that's how long i've wow. been gone dude you've been gone more than at home the last month yeah i'm really glad to be home my home theater and i can i can watch weird uh ancient civilization documentaries on amazon prime i try to find the weirdest ones now a lot of them are free it's great you know what uh, i watched but, in the theater last night when you I, oh i know what you watched i know what you watched lord of the rings yeah Hell yeah! Uh, baby. What in the, the first? One? The first one, the first one. Yeah, I, I saw, I saw your tweet. Again. Oh, oh, man. Man. Such a, it's so good. Proper viewing. Every time I watch it, I'm like, I don't yeah. remember it being that good, and I Extended? remember it being amazing. I didn't because I was watching it with the family. Oh my god, that, that's you can't. I, I didn't even count that as watching. I'd force the range. family to do it. I I didn't have a choice. <laughs> Yo, look, I love you. And that's why we're going to watch the extended edition. <laughs> I don't have to tell my kids that because they know if they want. I, you know to what? Eat. I'm going to get eaten alive for this. I don't. Don't you do it? Don't <laughs> even don't even say it. I would. All right, let's move on. Let's move I would. on. Hold it inside. I'd like on. to think let's kindly of let's you. Let's move on. That that chat will, <laughs> the chat will end you. <laughs> I thought we were friends. Move, mm. move on, no, please. Say, let's it, move it, on. Yeah, I'm trying. We're trying to save Adam from himself right now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Bigfoot has donated $25. Thank you. It says, I tell a few bad puns, and you turkeys don't have a show for like a month. Was it like a month? How long was it? Three weeks. It was off. like three it was weeks. Three weeks. Oh, so it's yeah. been a month. We missed two, Sorry. two weeks, two Sundays. Three hey, Bigfoot, missed. we're just trying to be elusive like you, man. Yeah. 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 From watching you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Following okay. Your footsteps. I can take a hint. I'll switch up the jokes. Here it goes. Knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? I didn't know you could yodel. yodel. Little Hashtag old lady Bigfoot. who? <laughs> that was terrible. That was your worst one. Wow. <laughs> Next I week's like just it. canceled. Bigfoot got choked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Block you for that. <laughs> Zorbu oh. for Fifty dollars on oh, the Zorbu. Wow, Zorbu. Thank you. Zorbu. We often brain scan. It. We often brain scan the chat, and a frequent question that comes up is, if we're ever <laughs> probed, if we ever probed Gary, have we ever probed Gary? No, we haven't, and we won't because Gary has a natural defense mechanism known as uh, the business Ew. as a dingle barrier. <laughs> oh God, I don't want that image. Oh, Just man. like MC Hammer. We can't touch this. <laughs> it's a very wow. ancient process uh, that I learned from a shaman in prison. <laughs> Tingle barriers? Tingle barriers. Wow. Uh, don't wow. drop the soap. 
<laughs> I did a sweat lodge in prison. I did. What's a sweat lodge? I don't think we need more details there. You don't know what a sweat lodge is? Uh, I know. Prison, Native though? American. I've never, I've never done one, but. The Indians. The Indians have sweat lodges. They go in there. I just get really saunas hot, count, right? And they it's like a sauna. Yeah. yeah. It's, oh, like okay. a, it's like a, a, like a sauna. I can see that happen. Before saunas. Saunas. I've been yeah. in a sauna before. Yeah. I love it's saunas. essentially a sauna. But it's a religious practice. Oh, What's but allowed way there. Way hotter. If you're in minimum, way more oppressive. Yes. Oh. Well, they do. They put wool fucking bur blankets over it. Like it's nuts. Yeah. But the fact you that they can't allowed escape me in it was a cool, was a cool Can thing. Can you breathe in it? Like it's I barely not easy. I wanted to okay. die. It's uh, like when you go to a concert. It's not relaxing like a sauna pit. is. <laughs> no. So I hear. I haven't done no. it myself. I want to try it. I but like my wife has. Her. That's weird. Okay. Uh, Bigfoot on the Streamlab side for $25. Thank you very much. So, Gary, did you hear that there have been more sightings of me in Ireland? In fact, they're uh, they're Dublin. Ha ha. Get it, Gary? <laughs> they're Dublin. It's a play on words. It sounds like, oh, it's better. Whatever. Tough crowd. It was better. <laughs> it's, no, it was better. Yeah, that one's better. It was Dublin. Dublin. Still there. <laughs> I went. I was yeah, gonna search it, but now I don't believe one. you. Oh, Bigfoot does it again. One, I find. I think flood myths are just the delusional, delusional. Wait for it. Hold. Wait for it. Okay, now laugh, Gary. Laugh. I'll give you a little bit of a delusional. Yeah, I, you're you're making baby steps. You know, you're, you're, you're on your way back, there. buddy. It's progress, yeah. not perfection. Uh, Crypto it up, Kev it up. has gifted ten neurotic memberships for fifty dollars. Yeah. Mm. Thank that you, Crypto good. Kev. Thank you, uh, Bigfoot, again, for $25. Time to get serious chat. My fans often ask me if I want to be re if I want to be remembered. It's simple. Uh, my fans often ask me how I want to be remembered. It's simple. Uh, no steroids. Always played the right way. A real throwback with great instincts and tireless work ethic. A humble giant, a giver. Hashtag for the love of the game. Thank you. Okay. All right. I didn't know you were. You gave 110 percent even when your back were against the wall, right? The the 110 percent. Key to the game is is to score more points than your opponent and win. So I heard. Fan man 81 for 25 dollars says 25 dollars for 25 percent of blacks. Oregon anomaly <laughs> peen <Amen>. joke. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. I'm glad I somebody heard it. <laughs> I call mine the half Hebrew hammer, <laughs> not oh because it's half the size of a normal man's butt, because it, I'm half Jewish. We got that part. Yeah. Common misconception. <laughs> so are you half sir? Never mind. Never I'm mind. Not never mind. Oh. No, no. Wait a minute. And is it this way or never mind? No, never mind. no, okay. no, yeah. no, no, no. Stop, stop. Mind. Let's not Paint delve chip. too deep into that. <laughs> Paint chips, the thing uh, Garrett ate when he was a child for $19.99. <laughs> Love They're mysteries. Delicious. Love mysteries as a kid. Uh, launch Hecklefish Jr. Uh, from the Y files, and topics would be covered for kids in comic series with the fish unraveling these questions. Rip reverse should initiate a line just for kids crossover. That's actually really a good idea. I love it. I love, I love it. it. I like that too. Uh, William 101 has gifted 10 neurotic live memberships for $50. Damn. Hail. Eric K for two dollars says, Adam, what is the deal with those two ladies? Is there where yeah. where? What ladies? D is there ladies that I can't see? Is I don't know what, what that what you what you mean. Yeah, what do you mean, Eric? It's probably in reference to something we said earlier that we forgot. Sorry, Eric. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Gregory Lieber for five dollars. Zorbu filled QB with his Zorgu, and now he calls. And now he calls him his Zorbu. <laughs> Zorbu. That's a pro. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, it probes and it comes back out and it gets information. Is There's this no the guitars? Goo. You're my Zorbu. What... Zorbu, Zorbu. Is no it the goo guitars? Involved. Is that what you're asking about? Maybe that's Eric? what he's saying. Zorgu. Well, there's four behind me. So well, you two need the Zorgu to probe. I mean, like, he doesn't want to go in dry. So T1S for $10. Oh, my brother Zorbu. and... Lube. My brother and six or seven of his friends are going to hiking trip, going on a hiking trip to Iceland at the end of February. I'm what? Oh, oh, about that? Isn't there a big old volcano about to blow up? Nice. I'm told there there better not end right up now. being the day 
Di Dyatlov Paz incident. Wish them luck. Well, I mean, Iceland's not in Russia, but there is the whole volcano True. that's about to go off there. No, it's erupting right now. Don't they have on. like? Oh, did it finally erupt? Well, not not like a big one, but it's like they have all these mini little fissures happening. The fissures, yeah. yeah. Well, no, there's there, there was a it's big one. They evacuated oh. the town like two weeks ago. Right, right, right. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I uh, um. And they're thinking it's going to be like that Hawaiian one where it's not going to be like a volcano. It's going to be like fissures just blasting up from the ground. And they're, wow. they're really unpredictable. Oh Isn't there a new island in Japan right now? That just Is there? came out came out of the yeah. water. It's yep. like, hey, came I'm out of the new water. island. <laughs> yep. Hi. Hey, guys. And it's still erupting, but it's like it's above what, you know, the water line now. Wow. So it's a new island. Earth is weird. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Scotty Christie Jones for two British pounds has reported Adam's lack of Christmas decorations to the CIA. I'm glad you did because I was. Whoa, whoa, it whoa. Yeah. Excuse deserves... me. My grandfather made this candle, okay. this Christmas that's, candle. That's I thought it was really a bat. Great. It looks like a bat. It looks like a green bat. I don't symbol. care. My grandfather like made it. He's no longer <laughs> with us Your anymore. My grandfather made a green batarang and it's yeah. kick ass. And but it's not. It's freaking awesome. awesome. Holds candles. I also, that, also. Right there? That's called a Christmas tree. Okay. Okay. Well, see the Christmas also, lights here. It has my oh, my wife made this Christmas Santa. Lights. Hold on, hold on. My wife made this when she was two years old. Aww, it's a little so cute. cute. She's very two. She's pretty talented. Yeah, I know she is really got talented, a little hat on so. and everything. Wow. Yeah, I a little tomta. She doing? It's, it's not Santa. It's a tomta. What's tomta? Tomta is is a it's a Swedish like gnome, but they look like this. They look like little tiny Santas. What do they called do? Tomtas. What do they do? Uh, they're I actually know a know a swear word. Uh, what do they do? Oh. They they they're just kind of Christmas gnomes. Okay. Uh, but uh, to, there's a there's a swear word that I know in Swedish that involves a tomta. You guys want to hear? Is it fuck? No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. It's, that tomta it's, fucks. Yavla tomta. <laughs> It's like ah. fucking Tomta. Okay. Oh, fucking, like, yeah. fucking no Christmas gnome. <laughs> oh, I like those little guys. They look cool. Yeah, that's those are Tomtas. Yeah. But uh, what, you, what we're talking about is Christmas lights, a little tree. Dude, yeah. you're Whatever. surrounded, I got Christmas you're surrounded decorations. by Christmas trees in Sweden. Just go cut I, one down. They're all around me. All right. I don't yeah. want them inside Bring my house. To the camera. I okay. finally one. got. I finally one. got heat in my house. I don't want Adam to hates bring Christmas confirmed. The cold <gasps> in. Oh Adam God. the Grinch. <laughs> you should see my my house is covered in Christmas stuff. It's just not my studio. Okay. All right. I have that and here we'll th this it. thing. I believe you. Well, and my Christmas train, which is not up yet, but I want to. Own. I showed it off last week. Yeah, Yo, you Eric had a Christmas train? Yeah, I, I didn't I, see I it. Train what? Oh, you uh, weren't, Christmas you train didn't, trains are rad. I have a Spider-Man train. I have a Spider-Man train. I need to fix it. But it's a Christmas Ooh. train. They're cool. Oh, oh, over there. Stanky pussy for $10. <laughs> <laughs> Advanced American civilization sounds like what Mormonism has talked about. Have you thought about bringing Shad to talk about it? Actually, we wanted to have an he AI him, Shad. He, he come has on to expressed talk about it. interest. So. Yeah, we'll we'll get Shad on. We have discussed. We have, no, I want to like the Mormon stuff. I think it's uh, fascinating. I don't know anything about it at all. Me neither. Really, it's fascinating. Except What's from more the Sherlock fascinating Holmes books is Utah, that and it's filled with Mormons, and they run a state. And there's nothing more. Just don't American say anything that. around Andreas about Utah like, and Mormonism, because, dude, he have a he has a rabbit hole, of course. He, of his course. brain works in different ways, uh, and when whenever he hears Mormons, I swear he like geeks out. He like starts like tripping and <laughs> tries to pull everyone around him into his trip of Mormons. He loves the story of Mormons. It's it's kind of weird. It's cool. It's a cool story. I mean, <laughs> it is. Uh, D's we webos webos. These nuts. These webos. These nuts. Yeah. Is it webos? Webos. 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 These webos. Eggs. Uh, for four ninety nine. Did you guys hear about the face peelers incident in Peru? Yes, I did. George Knapp did a show about it on Coast to Coast a few weeks ago. Crazy sheet. 
Yeah, you know what? I'll listen to that show because I uh, I do sign up for Coast to Coast just so I can hear George Knapp. Not mm. George Snorri. He's fucking terrible. Like somebody will tell this great story. It's like I went down into a base in Antarctica and uh, after uh, being down there for a month, I found an ancient civilization. You know, it's just a crazy story. Whether it's true or not, it doesn't matter. And he goes, that's neat. That's his interview style. <laughs> Man, wow the, was it the cosmic summit that he was at yeah or was it yeah okay um yeah he was he was horrible he was He's a horrible, horrible host he came out and had everybody sing happy birthday to him yeah and he sat what? on the thing and really then, so he had he had like a it was like tables <laughs> like this right so you had tables and then the, the podium he's supposed to stand at the podium and talk to the presenters that were there he ended up just sitting behind the presenters in a chair and was just like and dude, asking questions off the stage because he didn't want to stand. <laughs> he didn't want to stand, and he'd ask the same question over again. Yes, what's like up he with didn't hear Atlanta the stuff? answer. Really neat, huh? You know, it's like it's fucking terrible. I mean, you listen to Art, the greatest interviewer who ever lived, and then this guy. It's like George should be running the show, or John B. Wells should be running Coast to Coast. Yeah. Who who was the former Saturday guy who has a voice just like Art. And is a, a, a incredibly smart dude, like insanely smart. If you don't know who he is, he was the voiceover guy in the beginning of JFK, John B. Wells. He does, uh, um, it is Caravan Midnight. That's his network. I was one of the early subscribers, like when, 2015 when he was off art. The fucking George sucks. And he, like, he's part of Gaia. Gaia runs, um, contact in the desert now and that's why you don't see certain people there like mike barra our boy mike barra i, I don't like Gaia. yeah do I, I don't like Gaia either stuff. because they fucking keep people out because they have based opinions like mike barra right so mm -hmm. mike barra got like ditched from everything because mike barra you know he's a maga guy so what you know i like mike barra we're gonna get him on this show Barra, cool i'm supposed to call him and i forgot i need to what are you waiting I'll, call, you know I'll wait till three in the morning and I'll call him. I'm sure he'll be, he'd be fine with that. Perfect. Don't ever give me your number. I will call your ass at three in the morning. I did drop a, uh, a, a text to as at three in the morning. I didn't mean to do it, but it was just the, the three two in your morning or well, that's like the, his yeah. morning. Oh, but I did it. last night. Oh, okay. That's, that's right. And now. the two doctors split up and they were touching peepees. I had to show him that picture. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> oh, clip. he was so what upset. The from that. They were <laughs> by generating or whatever it is. By generating. They're calling it now. By generating? Is that yeah. what they're calling it? That's yeah. what it's called. <laughs> that's, wait, that's a real phrase or term? It's a real phrase. Yes. And it gets so much worse. It gets so <laughs> much worse. Oh, you wow. started the video off the video that's not out yet so minor spoilers <laughs> you started off by saying we're going to talk about it the last time and i was like no we're not <laughs> it's going to get worse and we're going to have to make a video on it i i don't want to do I, mm -hmm. I think this is my you last know video. you know if some crap comes out it's my last video yeah mm, okay You're survived, I, I don't believe that um, no dude, one believes that gary, did you, see the new gary sonic? you don't believe that <laughs> new sonic screwdriver looks like a butt plug does it oh no is that the picture you I posted? That yeah, I that was, like I that's the new fake. screwdriver? Yes. Was, yeah, oh, God. No, not the new oh. screwdriver. It's not fake. <laughs> I thought you what? were joking. No. <laughs> that's really it. I don't believe it. No. <laughs> it's so funny. What? I'm pretty fucking done, guys. Like, I, did I, you I, see I, the picture he posted? I yeah. could barely get through that last episode with David Tennant. I thought it. you were joking. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> AI what generated. is this? What is oh, this? Oh no! It's not even our <laughs> Wow! Wow! Dang. Wow! I thought you were joking. No. I did not. I really did. <laughs> That's the real thing, baby. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> wow! Yeah. Doctor Who is it reminds me is of Zorbu. Gone. <laughs> so yeah, I'm done. This is my last Doctor Who video. <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> Garrett, you all right? Yeah, a little bit. Like, I, there's a point where I just go, okay, you know, I've got other fish to fry. I'm, I'm checking out. <laughs> I'm and out. Uh, it, it's just going to be terrible. Uh, jo Johan Noxos for $10 says, a, as a ham radio guy, ooh, that's what art was too. Cool. Uh, the bands are hot right now because the high sunspot activity. I'm talking to Japan and Southeast Pacific 
on 100 watts at 200 at 28 megahertz. Uh, never cool. been this good in my life. Something big is coming. That's right. Uh -oh. The ham radio guys well, can. It's a solar maximum stuff. right now. Yes, it every is. 11 years it, it fluctuates. So it is peaking for the next like year and a half. So sorry, Gary, go ahead. Where are you going to oh, say? Good. Uh, no, I'm going to say those guys know, you know, the shortwave radio, the ham radio guys, they know. Oh yeah. They know when their, when their signals get fucked up and uh, an entire grid of internet went out the other day in Florida. Uh, spectrum mm -hmm. on the spectrum died and Jeremy had to go home. Ryan couldn't, I mean, this must've killed Ryan. He couldn't upload for like 11 hours. He must've been just dying. Oh, the poor guy. Uh, I am legend daddy for five ninety nine. says you hear Godzilla minus one cost less than $15 million. I did. So the director came out mm -hmm. at a con and was asked about this. He's all, I wish we had $15 million. <laughs> so it, it was, I can't less. see it. It's not any, in any wait. theater near me. Yeah, it it will be on the next week for well, you. You'll probably get it right around when the UK gets it. Right. Yeah. I'd assume so. Week. Probably five days. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I looked up at my theater just to like, see what's there. And it's, Hunger Games Oof. and the Marvels. So some, I'm like, some, ah, some fucking uh. retard on uh, on Twitter comes at me, and goes, Godzilla minus one had a huge box office drop in its second week. It was like twenty seven percent, the like, lowest this year wow. of that any film. Really any film studios would fucking kill for a twenty seven yeah. percent drop. What yeah, was what was the Marvels like drop? 90? 80 something percent? Yeah, it was like 87 percent. They do the math and they're like, it's not going to make its Oof. money back. And Adrian Curry was like, it kind of already did. It yeah, did what, already. what universe are you living in, you dumbass? <laughs> it already made its they're, money back. They don't live in reality. Money. Yeah, they don't. they're fucking retards. Uh, <laughs> Odin79 for $10 on the Streamlabs side. Sorry, sounds like a hoax. The part I hate is why uh, we are not uh, letting archaeologists crawl all over the Grand Canyon. All the native sites in the east that were destroyed were locked uh, the canyon down like a time capsule. Let's use it. I know. I mean, like, even if the dead are dead, the dead are fucking dead. Um, exhume them, study them, put them back. They're dead. They don't give a shit. You know, like, we... we, we Go to the, the Why would Museum you cut of London. The Yes, there's dead people just in boxes there. You can look uh, at. Yeah, them. there's a dead guy laying down, uh, who's been dead for fucking what five thousand years. Yeah, yeah, he's just in the middle. You still see this hair. Yeah, yep. that was weird. That was it really was, weird. It was kind of cool and also kind of weird. Yeah, they have a lot of shit. They stole a lot of shit. Yeah. Much better than everybody else. I'm just gonna say, the Louvre. But thankfully, because really cool. it kept it kept it safe and not destroyed. The Louvre. Pretty cool. Lots of nice art. Yeah. Cool art. I've never been inside, but I've been to it many times. But the British Museum? Fucking A. Was that rad? Yeah, it was. Uh, Rich was Uncle really cool. Cheapskate for four ninety nine. Since I love Seinfeld, I would title Gary's book Gary Beekler, A Strange Nerdrotic Journey from Folsom to FNT. It's not bad. Publisher's not super happy that I gave the subtitle to the, <laughs> that I'm even consider that I'm throwing it out to you guys. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I don't give a shit. Um, Aaron back again. A nerd story. We can't get away with that. <laughs> a nerd's tale. We we we, oh, we, we did think about that, but we're like, ah, uh, we would get to. <laughs> uh, Mr. French on the Streamlabs side, two parts for ten, uh, fifteen dollars total. Hey, I don't agree with you, Adam. With that, uh, the millionaires and billionaires know things. I just think they're just rich preppers, which would be amazing as a prepper. Sorry, correction, Adam. I don't think all the millionaires and billionaires who are making uh, bunkers now about the cataclysm that will end humanity. I just think there are preppers. They are preppers. I think some billionaires and trillionaires absolutely know. Bob Iger ducked out, ducked out of Disney right before the coup. Do you think that was a right. fucking coincidence? Yeah. He knew it was coming. Yeah. So they knew it was coming uh, at least two months before. They knew they were going to lock shut down at least two months before I have confirmation of that somebody told my wife early, like we knew it was coming. I told Jeremy, I said, this shit's coming. Like this is real. And then of course the NBA shut things down and got real after that. Yeah. So I, I yeah, the, the super uber rich are preppers and they are all doing the same thing. 
getting underground bunkers and making them be able to be lived in for a long time. Why? Because they know something's coming. Um, you know, the the Georgia Guidestones, there was this, uh, this is from the 80s. You know, it's this movement to bring the Earth's population down to 500 million. Why? Because that could maybe survive the cataclysm that would be coming. Uh, or they were like, all right, well, it's going to happen anyway. Destroy the Guidestones. Let's just let's just prep and not tell the world about it so that uh, we can live in our bunkers in peace. Um, yeah. So I guess it's just a perspective thing. I think there's a lot of uh, gazillionaires out there that don't give a shit about the average person. So. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Psychotic Mongoose is gifted one neurotic live membership for or not fifty dollars. Oh, five. Five. But that's cool. <laughs> uh, uh, and then we'll go zero gun rival on the stream live site. So Gary correction week one, Gary, your research is often strangely lacking. So here's the first correction. The reason the Smithsonian founder supposedly suppressed giant bones was because he wanted to prove evolution was true, even if it had to be by underhanded means. Uh, we've mentioned that we've mentioned that the, the most of the suppression, uh, is due to staying as far away from the fucking Bible as possible. And, right. uh, that's, that's proving that evolution is true. Something uh, they have yet to do, by the way. Um, but but my beliefs aren't with the Bible, Zero Gun Rival. Mine are way weirder. Way weirder than the Bible or the evolution. Bible's pretty weird. I think we're engineered. And, and not necessarily by a god, uh, by another race. That's what I think. Uh, I also mm. think we might be a conglomeration of multiple hominids that uh, we are not the ones, uh, I think there's pretty strong evidence now, that other hominids might have come up with spirituality and might have taught it to us. Mm. Shit like that. Yeah, that's what I believe. I the, Fuck, there's part of me that believes we came from Mars. Like there was a, a nice blue Mar blue Earth-like Mars. It destroyed and we was. came here. That's I what I believe. That. Yep. So, like uh, yeah. Eden. so what I was saying before was mm. the suppression before was to get away from the Bible. This is something Randall's talked about forever. Um, and I do not believe in evolution. I don't just flat out. Don't there's, there's, there's not, uh, I talked about this with comics division last night and he was right. There's not one missing link. There's a hundred missing links. Yeah. There's a thousand missing links. So it's not just one missing link. So I, you know, I, I think living things do adapt to their surroundings and, and stuff, but there's something that's really weird about uh, anatomically mm -hmm. uh, 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 the current human. I'll say yeah. current human is we don't adapt very well. We do with our minds through technology, but we don't physically adapt very well to a lot of things. Now we might over time, but uh, we have, we, we have lots of missing links, but the current, the current conspiracy is is while controlling the flow of information is while it's still to stay away from the Bible. It's also to reinforce the institution that has just simply relabeled itself. It's the same fucking one. That's a thousand years ago. That's a thousand years ago. So you have these woke professors who pretend to love indigenous people, but they still that, but they won't believe any of their myths. They won't believe your Bible. They won't, uh, <laughs> they, they won't believe the Quran. They won't believe any of that shit. And there's a lot of history in those things. And that's where we, where we got to parse it out. A lot of provable uh, history. Oh, and it is now. Uh, love this show and love meeting you all in London. A small YouTube loving, uh, a small, is it YouTube? I see YT, I think YouTube. Loving my hobby. I cover both. Oh, I have a small YouTube channel. Uh, loving my hobby. I cover both conspiracy and pop culture. Thanks guys for F&T and hail FF and hail to you. Hail to you. Now, uh, what really sucks, uh, Zero, is my fucking memory. It's terrible. <laughs> I read all this shit and I forget a lot of it. Uh, Neil Horn for nine ninety nine. Another great show. Have you guys heard of the stories about soldiers encountering strange creatures during wartime? Like in oh, Vietnam yeah. and in the Pacific Islands might be a good topic for the show. That would be a good topic. I don't know a ton on that, but I'd look into it. Well, we talked about the giant that supposedly was found at what in Afghanistan or something. 
Yeah. Uh, it was a guy in Afghanistan. Like 20 years ago or something. There was the a more grounded one. This isn't wartime though, is the the chimp that walks upright. Like the giant chimp that walks upright. That's in Vietnam or Cambodia. I can't remember which one. Uh Joe Rogan talked about that one. Um, but like citing Bigfoot. Like, is it Bigfoot? Is it Sasquatch or is it something more? I'd 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 look into that. That'd be fun. Uh Xavier Savior Hard for 10 Australian dollars. I don't care what people say, the great Aztecs or how uh ever you spell it. I'm glad that they got their head deleting and child deleting cults destroyed. Hail to the chat and Merry Christmas. Well, yeah, they got destroyed because they were pretty bad. And because they were pretty bad, they didn't have a lot of allies. And they, uh, the, a lot of people turned, like, a lot of people helped the Spanish. Um, the Spanish right. were vastly outnumbered. Yeah. Vastly yeah. outnumbered. But they had the tech. They also had other uh, other tribe people. We'll just say, turn on the fucking evil Aztecs. I mean, they they just they, that's how we were yeah, able. Was, I I agree. Yeah. Remember, the prince was going to marry to like join another tribe together to make the Aztecs stronger, and he he got a vision, and he was like, "All right, no, I got to cut her skin off and wear it, yeah, and, and dance in oh. front of their their people, yeah." yeah. yeah. It was so, like, oh. Yeah, these Aztecs, great people. Yeah. I, I totally agree. I, I am glad that, that that culture is gone, but I am not glad that all of its knowledge and histories were wiped. Was burnt up. For... I think we still need those. Yeah. And we still deserve to have those. I'd, I'd like to know more about that culture. Even though they were evil culture, like we should still be able to study them I, and their I, histories I, and the, the things that they passing, wrote down. The whole passing moral That's the part that pisses me off. Yeah. Uh, on the past is fu it's pointless. Because we can't change it. Yeah. And, and maybe we have if, moved on. And it was just savage back then. That's yeah. the way it was. People were fucking horrible. Everybody was horrible. Why do you think the, you know, the Spanish don't get enough criticism, by the way? They fucking killed a lot of people just by accident, by smallpox yeah. and Whoops. shit. They killed a lot of fucking people. And when, when the Spanish and the English and Dutch and everybody else came over here and they were able to, like some, you know, at, at first, the Indians were fine. A lot of Indians were cool. Mm -hmm. And some of us sucked. You're right. But they weren't united. If they were united in any way, there's no way we could have taken it so quickly. It would have taken a lot longer. We would have taken it. But we were outnumbered. We had technology. Our, our, well, I say we. I I wasn't part of an original. Uh, my family didn't come here until like the 1800s. But, um, the, dude. We had technology, but we were outnumbered. We were in like, we were coming over little fucking boats. They should have kicked our ass, <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah. it, it didn't because they weren't united. Um, you know, slavery ended when the Native Americans had to stop practicing it. That's when it really ended. Mm -hmm. uh, Razor Fist likes to point that out. Yeah. <laughs> Every yeah, the trail, of te te yeah. the trail of Tears was followed by a trail of slaves. If you didn't yeah. know that, I didn't know that. And I, when I read that, I was like, holy crap. Why didn't anybody ever tell me that? I didn't know that the Native Americans that were all moved to the reservations just took their slaves. Because they pretend they pretend like the it's the Native Americans. That they've never done anything wrong. And we we're the white man come in and destroy their culture. No, no, no. Native Americans are just as fucked up as the rest of everybody around the world because we're all humans and we're all messed up. Yep. Yep. Mm. One wasn't better than the other. Exactly. That's uh, that's the way it goes. Uh, Odin, uh, I have some issues with this. Buddha was around 500 BC, so after the Bronze Age, if issue the word hieroglyphics gets misused, so it's hard to know what they meant. Lemuria myths were popular at the time, so it feels like they were tying it to that. They might have, but um, Buddhism stems from something else, right? So maybe some, and I'm just throwing it out here. I don't know, like in this valley, which goes way fucking mm. way, way back. But mm. Buddhism uh, comes from, a, it had a, it had something pr uh, predating it that evolved into it. A lot of religions borrow from others, turn into other things. 
And maybe uh, it's not, maybe they use the term hieroglyphics, but it's not Egyptian hieroglyphics. Again, yeah. Indus Valley has images, right? They, they can't read right. it. It could be, well, it wasn't, you call it them wasn't hieroglyphics. hieroglyphics. That's the thing, right? They had experts that knew hieroglyphics. And so they were it was like, like this is Tibetan. A, this isn't, yeah, this right. isn't hieroglyphics. Right, but it wasn't yeah. Tibetan either because they had that, they were like, so they, they might have been like, from all different fields. They're like, they're it's like, kind of like this, but it's kind of like that. It's, it's kind of like all of it. Mm. Could be a hoax, or they could be just interpreting it the best way they could. They were looking right. at something completely different, and they they wouldn't know. Forbidden Frontier is back. Let's go! Says Rake at Night for five dollars. Cheers. Rake I am night. an hour behind, so I might be too late. But what what do you think of the lizard people decided to turn against us to the point that they want to wipe out? Uh, wipe us off the planet at present time tj for 9.99 well there's a two-part doctor who episode about that back when doctor who was still good yeah back when doctor was matt smith doctor no was. butt plugs involved no butt plugs involved zorbu stream labs there's actually a couple doctor speaking of that, but uh for 25 dollars says captured earthlings often ask me what i think of renewable energy gotta say i'm not a big fan all right Okay. Thank you, Zorbu. I I kind of got what you got there. We're saying there. I'll give you that. Uh, bought my Geek Grind K cups. Nerdrotic Feathers of Liberty blend in buttery is buttery smooth. Love it. Says Jake CB for five dollars. Thank you. I ha I uh, I am powered by Geek Grind Coffee today. Andrew Reader for ten Canadian pesos. Thank you very much. Appreciate the donation. Doesn't say anything. Luis Suevis for five dollars. There is something about the writing of a hundred years ago that I feel is lost today. Yeah, it's more po poetic and it's better writing. Yeah, fucking the, the they, use, they use a wider range of the English language too. Yes, the the letters people used to write to each other are written like books. They're stories. They're so much right. better than today. Hmm. Sure. Uh, Ricky Bev for a dollar ninety nine. Then they found the Bikuru. And the strike and the shrike. Oh, and the shrike. Uh, John Kennedy for two dollars. Possible topics, Philadelphia experience. Uh, ooh, that's on the list. And uh, the Glocken Nazi Bell. Oh, yeah. Is that the time traveling one? Yep. The one that yes. popped in, uh, possibly to Ohio in the 60s. Hmm. Uh, I love the Tartaria and Mud Flood stolen history episode. This show got me obsessed and out of everything. The Mud Flood reset and Hollow Earth are mind blowing. Cool. Check out Exertus's channel then. Yeah. Yep. Inca cartels mm -hmm. uh be pushing bricks. Yay to ancient uh <laughs> to uh, <laughs> ancient <laughs> Egyptians. Sumerians <laughs> might connect. <laughs> <That's so sweet. laughs> The Raven in the Writing Desk for five uh, Canadian pesos. I have a Cyprus trip booked for March. First stop, Chor Chorcosia. Uh, I think so. Okay. Also, know. going to see the baths of Aphrodite and the Temple of Dionysus. Dionysus. That would be awesome. That is cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. That. The dates of contact in the desert are out May 30th to June 3rd. The website is still being populated, but I also, I hope to see you all there. Enzo, I'll see you there. Yeah, we'll be there. Uh, Andrew Matthews for two British pounds. All people in uh, macadamia are nuts. Uh, let's see what's up there. <laughs> Logan Miller for four ninety nine. Alex Jones, 2024. Well, he'll, he's back now. Fear the spell check for five dollars. That green thing reminds me of the Hall of Justice symbol from Judge Dredd for some reason. Uh, it kind of looks like that. A little bit. I can see Richard, it. I can see Rich, it. Richard yeah. Throbin for five dollars. <laughs> Welcome back to the world, fi uh, Forbidden Frontier. The Y Files is awesome. Hope you guys are able to get him on the show. Stay horny, everyone. Uh, oh YouTube. my, always. <laughs> uh, Foxy Scorpio for four ninety nine. You don't get messing with the X Ray Girl unless you re tired of living. We don't mess with. Well, I don't know what that means. I don't know either. Uh, Garrett leaving to be probed again says Eric K for a dollar ninety nine. True, <laughs> here, Eric. Okay, Golem's this. half botched circumcision leftover. Ew. For twenty five hundred Martian pesos is less unless. 
in less than two hours will be my birthday. Please <gasps> dedicate the day to Bully Papa Gundam to release his demo played on FNT the other time. Cheers. Oh, well, yeah. Well, he hasn't done that yet. Song. That was a good that was a good song. No, man. he has. It was a good song. Uh mm -hmm. accident, uh accident seller. Mm-hmm. For 59 good. Norwegian Krona, Doctor Who 1963 equals my TARDIS is smaller on the outside. Doctor Who 2023, my bum hole is bigger on the inside. Yep. Did they actually say that? No. Okay. <laughs> no. But the thing is, I could see it. It's implied. Um, um, they make uh, the three agenda references in the latest episode. I have them written down. Uh, the toy maker is racist in the beginning at 209. Garrett, okay. I sent you this. At 11.35, they make a Koof commentary. Mm. Oh, my gosh. They do. They make a COVID commentary. And uh, the uh, the third one is uh, the doctor calls uh, Rose's child his his niece. So there's that. Uh, but it's mostly just fucking bad. Uh, Jake Payne for four ninety nine. Looking at a starting a podcast and a YouTube channel next year. Good. Give me some free advice, Gary. Love the gang. And next year is the year. Of the dragon it is jake uh, yeah. just start it and find your voice don't stop and audio if you want to know what i'm talking about with find your voice which was something that clicked with me you're gonna laugh but i but i learned that watching the fourth remake of a star is born with lady gaga oh i've never seen that it's really fucking good i mean i like the song it's it's sad but it's good and bradley cooper's character is talking to her right before they uh she makes it big and he's like all oh, these motherfuckers are gonna imprint stuff on you and tell you what to do i'm paraphrasing but uh, you need to find your voice before you go out there and do this and, and if you don't do that you'll never make it mike mm -hmm. so i interpreted that as you know uh that was is just like don't hold back be yourself before somebody else That's makes you their puppet. Yep. Be yourself. Fuck up on live streams. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. People, people like, uh, you know, I like it. It's more authentic than this studio uh, shit that we get now. Uh, that's, mm -hmm. I think it's an old model that's dead. Yeah. Being honest. Uh, well, being honest is something that a media has never done. So it, we're actually breaking ground. Uh, by just telling the truth, you know, whether we like it or not. Uh, Sean, for $5, YouTube sucks. Stop streaming here. Enjoy the $3.50 because you paid a $1.50 censorship tax to the Globals Pro Censorship Tribe. Um, If there was a viable, a, a keyword there is viable alternative, we'll be there. We've got backup somewhere else, but YouTube's still where it's at. Plus, I like broadcasting from the belly of the beast. Uh, welcome back and love y'all. And now going to watch from the beginning. Thanks all. Thanks, Rick. Cheers. We'll be here when you get here and hear this. Four ninety nine. Andrew Matthews for two dollars. After last night, X Ray Girls Crisis has arrived, has it? And Xavier. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Xavier, what, 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 why are you moving it? I don't know. Stop fucking with me. <laughs> Have you guys read the book? Endurance, the ship of the journey was found in Antarctic and it was found completely vertical. Hail chat, Dr. JP suggested the book. It's called Endurance. Endurance, it's, isn't that the... Uh... Shout out to my N-word, Quarter Black Garrett from Dineska. And then somebody asked, I can't, I didn't see it here, but somebody did ask if we've read uh, The Haunted Mesa yet. No, that's a Louis L'Amour book. But someday. Oh, someday. I did, hear, I did read about this endurance, the ship yeah. found outside Antarctica, right? It'd be being rediscovered. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool Excellent. Um, could we crowdsource some LIDAR for some of these places? <sighs> we can They're try. Gonna let, I think let LIDAR is going to get a lot cheaper in the next few years, though. Oh, yeah. Not even the them. LIDAR. It's the access. That's the well, no. Uh, yeah, Graham yeah. said that at to contact in the desert, that they can LIDAR from drones now. But even then, that would get shot Very down, cool. wouldn't? Like, in some places, yeah, they, yes. wouldn't, they wouldn't let you go over there. 
Yeah. Carly, Light Dave, on. and JB, welcome. And uh, we are going to get out of here so I can get back to work on my video. We have uh, finished Me up too. the chats. Thanks for another great show, everybody. You guys are yeah. awesome. We'll be back next week. What are we talking about next week? Do we know? Uh, Grush. We're going to talk about Grush. 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 David Grush is back. More There's some interesting UFOs. stuff on that because uh, he does, just to pre-say it, it's, it does seem more credible than it did when he first came out yep. and talked. Does he show he anything? No. He's, he's not. just words? It's still just words. I, I need to see it. most of all this stuff. I need to see. No, he shit, can't man. show anything. But um, I need there's, to see it. yeah, there's supposed to be other people backing him up, and a lot of those people backed out. So oh. I think, I mean, uh, the truth is somewhere in the middle. But again, if uh, I, I, I believe more than anything that our government has off-world tech and has for. A I long think so time. too. That's or, the thing. Oh, well. I don't know about off world. It could I feel like it, it could just be ancient tech that has survived. We'll just say not ours from this civilization. Not ours. How's that? I agree. Um, yeah, also, yeah. uh Facts. Jeremy yeah. Corbell and George Knapp revisited Philip Corso recently uh in a podcast. Mm-hmm. I highly recommend you watch that. Philip Corso uh is an old whistleblower from the Eisenhower administration and was around during the early Ross, he has a great book called The Day After Roswell. Highly recommend that book. A lot of crazy shit in that book. Um, they revisited him on uh, Jeremy Cor- Corbell's weaponized podcast. Go, go. Yeah, I know Corbell, but he's with he's with George Knapp, so it kind of balances out. Yeah, Corbell. He's just got that LA personality, man. That's what it, that, I don't. I don't even know if that's where he's from, but he's got a very that's very California. LA producer, uh, a lot of people. I worked with a lot of people like him, like that. They're not evil, it just comes off as you know, it could be a turn off a little bit. Yeah. I understand that, I do. But I know but when people see Corbell, they just roll their eyes sometimes. It's like, hey, it's with George, George Knapp's legit, legit, but I don't think he's evil. No, he's got, yeah, he's got a little bit of a valley girl accent, but so do I. So, yeah. there you go. I'm from SoCal. Uh, little SoCal, you know? Yeah, yeah okay. you know? Like, yeah, like, nice. I dude a lot. So, I dude my dude. wife. I'll dude my mom. Uh, I dude everybody. It's like, dude. I don't know if you say that publicly. <laughs> I just did. Maybe you that enunciate shit. a little more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Enunciate it. Cause dude. I didn't hear the second D. Dude, because you don't say the second D if you're I'll California. Do a lot of people, dude, it just, dude. It just sounds wrong. Dude. Dude. Well, that's a problem when you're well, doing part your of the California. There's no California <laughs> accent. It's just a Southern California thing, and it's because we're too lazy to finish our fucking words. Fucking stoners. That's the way it goes. Stoner. It's stoner speak. That's what it is. All right, what do you got coming up, Adam? Sleep. I'm gonna go right to sleep. Okay. I'm thinking but about like, it. My you're gonna wake my, up. I hear tomorrow. my bed calling me. You're gonna um, wake up tomorrow and do something, aren't you? I gotta, I gotta go freaking car shopping tomorrow. I, I gotta start looking. Um, I got base staff Monday tomorrow. That's that's great. I love my base staff bros. It's always a lot of fun. Uh, I'm I don't know what I'm doing with my my show. I'm trying to figure out. I, I've been sleeping at night. It's been fantastic. Um, my Sunday and Monday night, I'm up late, so it's worth it because I love this show and I love base staff Monday. I just can't have it be a regular thing, so I'm not doing a daily show anymore. Uh, Wednesday is Side Scrollers with Flodzilla over on Side Scrollers podcast. That's a lot of fun, and uh, yeah. Other than that, uh, I'm I'm looking forward to Christmas. I I got I, I love Christmas time, even though my lack of decorations might confuse you. I do love it. My whole house is covered, um, and I love gifting. Uh, I I love giving. It's 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 fantastic. I love it. I I, got, I like it more than give giving getting stuff. I love to it. give things. I, I love good. it. I love. Why don't I love you that. give your walls part. some Christmas decorations? <laughs> wow! <laughs> and give us some Christmas okay. cheer. Damn. Wow. All right. Well, hey. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you, Josh Kelsey, for twenty dollars. Appreciate you. Just dropping it and leaving. That's how dropping he does it. You know he like, does. I was making a joke, but I won't. Because I respect Josh. Eric, hey, you didn't specify what the two ladies are. Because I got four ladies behind me. If you're talking about my guitars, um, all right. If they're the guitars, they're 
This is my favorite acoustic electric. Her name's Rhonda. All right. This is my Martin Street Master, which is my my freaking dream guitar that I I got for myself. This is a a beautiful bass that's actually my wife's. Um, this is her Washburn electric. This is actually my classical. I don't know if you could. This this one right here is a classical guitar, a tiny little car guitar. So there you go. There that. That, those the are my, the guitars hey. behind me, the ladies. All right. Hey, uh, Forbidden Frontier falls on a Christmas Eve, so we're going to have to talk about the schedule. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We Before you got it, we were asking about schedule. Well, we'll let you guys know. Yeah, maybe we can do it another day or something. I would hate to yeah. miss a show. Yeah. But, <laughs> uh, well, because we've already missed so many. Uh, what yeah. do you got coming up, Quarter Black? Uh, not much, you know, just my own show, Normal World, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and on Thursday is going to be our Christmas special. We got some good uh, sketches we've been working on uh, that I think are pretty funny, so please check that out. And tomorrow's Bay Staff Monday on Adam Krigler's channel. Go check it out. Hell yeah. And then we're going to be dropping a Doctor Who video on the channel pretty soon, so check that out too. Yep. Yeah. I got to finish it. I'm uh, over two-thirds done. Nice. I sent you a big chunk. Yeah, I got about six right before the show. So I just gotta. I don't talk much about the episodes. Fucking, it's dumb. It's dumb. So I just point out some shit and then talk about the by generation. You'll find out. Yeah. There's a Bye there's a generation. bigger point to the there's a big po bigger point to the video. Stupid. Uh, thanks, Garrett. Uh, what do you got coming up? Exude agu. Um. I mean, Gary watched crappy Doctor Who, but I'm going to watch good Doctor Who because I'm on season three. Martha, uh, we're going to be Martha watching. Martha Jones is so hot. Reviewing Gridlock um, and Torchwood oh, episode four. So Gridlock is not a goo. No, but I'm excited <laughs> for the one next um, Daleks in Manhattan and Evolution of the Daleks. So no, that's fun. Very that's a fun that episode. One. Oh, it's got Andrew Garfield in it. Really? Really? Oh, yes. I'm so excited for that then. Yep. Yeah, so that'll be tomorrow, um, 6 p.m. Eastern. I forgot if it's mine or Zia's channel. And then on Tuesday, I'm going to have my father on DadCast at 6 p.m. Eastern. Alan so. Ng? Cool. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I'm the Merciless. Yeah, he's going to um, tell all the dad stuff that he never gave to me when I was a kid. So, you well, know. Well, yeah, because you were like validation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I, I love you. Either. <laughs> oh God, but um, yes. Does he know about your only feet? <laughs> Actually, I don't know if he does. Well, he will now. <laughs> Hi, oh, Garrett. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> That's okay. There's a couple of super chats here. Uh, what are you doing, Garrett? <laughs> I had a weird Read connection. Em. Everything was like roboting out, so I had to dip out, and come back in. Uh... Read them. All right, um, Jimmy Collins for two dollars says, "Did anyone read the Haunted Mesa yet? I've never heard of it. Not yet. It's a Louis Lamore book." Um, Angry Badger for four ninety nine says, "Gary is tagging you in videos. Uh, a good way for you to see them. I want the fellowship and one ninety nine to see my stuff. I'm adding my voice to this fight." Yeah, just tag us on on Twitter. I mean, I Western. can't promise I'll see everything. Yeah. It's a shot in the dark because yeah. yeah. There's some Sometimes days there's so many season. notifications. Or no, there's just so many. It just kind of gets lost. True. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah. I, I don't understand because there's certain things I don't see from people. And then Obviously, after like 100,000 follow. followers on, on Twitter, it's just like. It's a shit show. Yeah. yeah. She gets yeah. lost, man. I do my best. Yeah. With my I had a guy. I had a guy yeah. yell at me for like an unfollow me because I didn't like or comment on his response to one of my tweets. Oh. And he, he he did this spiel about how it's like, oh man, I'm sick of these stuck up YouTubers not responding to any to like to any of their comments. And I'm like, it's like it's I just it I happen to see I happen to see that response and I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? And I clicked on it and it was like he responded to me, you know, like a normal response. And then like because I didn't see his normal response, he started freaking out. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, I, dude, In I didn't see <laughs> Not to Excuse toot our own me. horns here, but it is difficult when you have so many followers and people linking you, and it's hard to like <laughs> yeah. see like, everything. I don't fuck? see shit that I want. Who to are see. you? I, yeah, I don't know who you are. Yeah, I, I really, really, we do try to see as much as we can. It's, oh it's yeah, hard. It's difficult. Yeah. Right. But yeah. yes, you could. You can add. That's a. That's probably the best way to do it. 
It's like mm-hmm. add yeah, us yeah. on Twitter add- or if you have a video like add it in the comments or something like that. I think we also get those notifications on YouTube side. Yeah, yeah I, I try I watch try I it watch though, right? yeah. so much YouTube. So chances yeah. are you want, I'll watch almost it. like twenty four seven. Almost yeah. <laughs> well, it's good. It it it's if you want to be a content creator, watch a lot of fucking YouTube. That that's if you want a secret, that's a good one. Watch you can a learn lot. a yeah. lot from people's yep. videos if you yep. watch. There's a lot of very carefully. great, but don't people don't don't there. do it to the point where you don't make content though. Make content while watching other content. Yeah, right. It's yeah. got to be a balance. A balance. All right, I gotta eat. Yeah. I'm so gonna eat. Uh, I, I'm gonna go. I'm well, fighting okay. yawns. I'm I'm, I'm gonna read a couple more. The Rick okay. uh, for four nine nine. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to Merry you. Christmas. Merry uh, Christmas. Angry Badger said, sorry, I meant tagging you in videos on YouTube. Yeah, yeah on, Twitter, on Twitter. That works too. Tag on Twitter. Oh, I don't yeah. know. You get tagged on YouTube? I, oh, I yeah, don't I, I, There used to be a messaging system. I don't even use it. it. Sometimes it shows up. Not all the time. Yeah, I oh, okay. don't know where to find it. Twitter's were the best way. Yeah. Uh, Vapor Trails for nine ninety nine. I think I mentioned this in the past, but just to keep in mind, the beings who intermarried with humans and taught them knowledge in the Bible are Satan and his demons. Just saying, keep it in mind. Okay. Um, Eric K for two dollars okay. says Garrett keeps leaving to be probed. Yes. He just said this again. Are you so fixated on this, huh? Eric? Leaving. I think maybe it's yeah. on you. Um, Garrett, yeah. Garrett, can you read this one? I don't think I can say that word after your name. Come on, quarter Negro. I know you have the file in your computer. You downloaded it to play better. Wow. Golem's half budge okay. circumcision left over for 2,500 PYGs. Thank you. Jeez. That's it. Golem's not circumcised. I have an actual. How, how do you know this? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's oh a shit, detailed man. action wow. figure. It's oh. really detailed. There is a little Golem wiener on it. My my timer is set. Detailed. It's you can set see after three. Time to go. It's my bedtime. Uh, Love you okay. guys. Thanks uh, to the Mod Rodics. Thanks to everyone who left super chat donation. Thanks for supporting the show. We get a lot of love, and we really appreciate it. We'll see you next week. Bye. See ya. Gary, some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. Welcome, travelers, to the fringes of reality, where the strange and mysterious meet, and the thin veil between fact and fiction is torn. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier.